Uh, we live? Wait, I forgot to bring up the preview. Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Yes, indeed. Fantastic. Right, uh, so we're in this hostile new world. There's way too many biters. Uh, let's get you repaired. And... That didn't spawn biters, did it? No. Oh, seven out of eight meteors destroyed. Yikes. Okay. I think what we're going to have to do is get my body off this rock, unless... Um... Let me just check. Okay, we do have one of these handy. Is it possible to have the bots put something in there automatically? And can I launch it from here? No, I can't. Okay. In that case, I'll definitely have to head over there. Uh, beryllium plate. All of it, please. Uh, a whiskers. Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's have the bots pick this up. Oops. So I'm going to have to go to Navis Orbit myself. And we'll just say Nervous Orbit General, if I can find it. There we go. We're obviously going to need to unpack our cargo rocket sections. And what I'm going to do here... Uh, that's slightly inconvenient. I'll have the spiders defend and build and repair the place by remote control until I get back. Uh, capsule goes here, actually. There we go. Oh yeah, and I wanted to do a little experiment here. Let's see. EPS is at 42. 239 40 42 if I keep this thing open but shrink this it seems to go up a little bit and if I put it in performance mode instead It still gains a few, uh, like a couple of UPS. If I shrink the preview screen down to nothing, I can still see that the volume thing is working. And it's pretty close to as good. Going to be trying some different streaming software in the near future. Why do we have no... We do have logistic bots. What are they doing? We definitely requested this stuff, right? Cargo rocket sections? How do we not have any? We should have a few left over from the original launch. Um, but I guess... I guess not. Alright, so... Oh, this goes here, also that would probably help. And I'll just leave it going and manually get rid of the stuff when we're... Actually, no, let's connect this up so I don't have to think about it. Uh, cargo rocket section... Less than 100. 
And then we just have to deal with fuel, which means oil, which means fuel refineries as well. Let's do... Oh, that's going to be liquid rocket fuel. I should probably start sending vulcanite blocks to refuel the rockets instead. Uh, if we have nearly as much vulcanite as I think we might by now. Let's have a look. Okay, considering this is not enough for a train load, the answer to that question is absolutely not. Um, but for now... Wait, what? Wrong recipe. Liquid rocket fuel... Um... I'm gonna need a couple of these. I'm gonna need to run a pipe or two this way. Unless I can get the bots to carry it, that's a bit much. Um, how about through here? Wait, can I even fit a couple of these here? Not really. What? Oh, it's everything but the fuel. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I don't have my speedy spider with me. Let's ride the construction spider. Down to 35. Let's try this again. Oh, and I should probably turn on performance mode here. Oh, it's on performance mode. Okay, cool. It wasn't my goal to have the spiders vomit out their bots just yet. Let's have them catch up. And then... How am I going to fit this? I feel like uh, RoboPods are probably the way to go, actually. Yeah, we could literally just put one or two in here and have the bots carry the fuel. So, let's put down some pump jacks. And see what we can do about not messing up all the trees to do it. Tree is in the way. I think not. And there we go. One, two, three, four, five over here. That's convenient enough. That doesn't quite reach here, does it? Yeah, close enough. That'll do. By which I mean that will do. Let's add some power. And one nice juicy substation over here. That doesn't quite reach. Unfortunate. Gonna need a big power pulse somewhere anyway. And let's throw together a little 
I think I'll have crude oil come all the way back up here. That way we can have the um, oil production area nice and close. I should make a new blueprint for this that's a bit more minimal as well. Right, so let's start with this. And... How many of these can fit under one beacon? Three. I think we'll go with that. Don't need any cracking from light to petroleum. Uh, which means we don't need this layer. This goes here. And I think we can make this bit a bit smaller as well. The light oil doesn't need this part. Which means this whole thing here can be moved up a tile. Don't need the display. We do want to crack all the heavy oil to light. Uh, this bit is as good as it gets, I think. I guess we could add... No, this is fine. I wonder if we need more than one of these things for cracking, actually. Hmm. We'll try this for now. And I suppose water can be connected up here. Not something to consider changing with the old design because there's no way to make it go left, right. Although I suppose we could do that consistently. Yeah. That might make it a bit easier. Alright, let's uh, speed module this. This is fine. Excuse me. Um, I think that's about it. Unless we want to have this sticking out the side somewhere. We could make the whole thing a bit less vertical. Wouldn't be able to fit it all under one substation, though. All right, let's blueprint this, and I'm just going to call it, I guess we're not doing the solid rocket fuel here. Maybe I should. So let's see. Well, that would be a convenient fit if it could be done that way. This is... Not the most convenient fit. Uh, solid fuel. Solid fuel. We could actually bother to make it a correct ratio as well, I suppose. Uh, we don't need to turn the heavy oil into solid fuel. That's not so efficient. Let's get some prods in here. Beacon. 
I wonder if I could have a second beacon cover everything else. I could put this one here. And this. Um, would have to touch that tile there. Which doesn't work. I could probably... That's petroleum anyway, we shouldn't have that there. Move this up a bit. If it goes over one tile, that doesn't reach. Unless... It, this might be it. Uh, this goes here, and this goes here. I wonder if it would be easier to... Yeah, I, I don't think I'm worried about beaconing the tracking heavy to light. That should be able to keep up pretty easily. Um... What if we put these down here, beacon in the middle somewhere, and I need to figure out the ratio. We're going to want to make solid rocket fuel out of solid fuel and light oil. Um, I should probably be checking on the biter threat while I'm doing this as well. Let's have our spiders clear out some relatively small biter bases. Make sure I check on them in a minute. They might not be able to handle that without some guidance. Now let's remove that part. That part. Flip this around. I guess that doesn't really work. Uh, so... How do I get the solid fuel in here? Could maybe do it like that. Uh, first of all, what's the ratio here? That's not powered? Oh, this Construction spiders never built this power pole. Do they not have them? Oh, time to check on our military spiders. They're actually more spread out than I was expecting. First thing to do is pull the biters away from the nest. Stay out of range of the worms. Run around in circles so the spitters miss and the behemoths don't catch up. And then... Good enough. be a lot easier if they could all respond directly to one remote. Let's have them repair after that one. Okay, so we still don't have power over here. I think I must be carrying all of the big power poles. So let's see. 
Uh, that is nowhere near enough solid fuel to keep up with this. Oh, that's not prodded. Eleven. Uh, net consumption of eight per second still. Um, don't know how well we can actually fit this here. Maybe like so. We can direct insert this one. That piping there is unnecessary. Uh, these two can go like this, actually. That's Pretty good. Those are already connected. And then we'll add the petroleum one, I think. That's interesting. If I change this recipe to... Solid fuel from petroleum... Solid fuel from light oil. It's supposed to be the same speed. It is the same speed. Maybe one of them was just not under the beacon before or something. Okay. That just about keeps up. Uh, I think I would prefer to make sure we go as fast as possible. This should ensure that we bottleneck on the oil itself, or at least the oil coming out of these three. Uh, that doesn't go there. This is already connected. That's a fairly convenient fit. Put that as close to the middle as we can get. I guess it could be here or here, it makes no difference. So I'll put this closer to this pipe here. Technically, I could... Could do it that way. And have this one as bend down to here. So that's connected to this, is connected to this, is connected to this. Nice. That means we can put this a tile closer. And I think that's about as good as it gets. Okay. I think we'll blueprint this one. Can we do better with the placement of this beacon? I don't think so. Alright. Blueprint. Um, solid rocket fuel. Actually, liquid rocket fuel. I can't remember if an unbeaconed liquid rocket fuel thing is going to keep up with that easily or not. No. In that case, maybe this. 
could be liquid or rocket fuel. That's going to consume 140 light oil per second. Which, we're approaching that. That's not a bad ratio. And what about solid rocket fuel? We'll just barely be gaining it if this was all going at full speed, which it won't be. This is not too bad, I think. Um, although I would kind of like to swap the position of these two. Except... Can't really... Uh, we can. We'll probably get rid of some of these inserters. That's pretty good. And then this goes here. Puts all the light oil on the same side as well. 160 petroleum per second, that's not even close. Maybe this, maybe one of these should also be light oil. Except we're already exceeding what we can do with light oil. This is fine. Okay. Blueprint. Uh, liquid rocket fuel. From crude. That's pretty much it. Think. Let's put that in space exploration. And figure out where we want to place it. I could. I guess it makes sense to put it. Well, it's one set of pipes for crude and one set of pipes for liquid rocket fuel no matter how we do it but I think I would be more comfortable if uh, this thing were closer to where we can defend it also let's figure out where our offshore pump is gonna go do I not have one I do I can put it here actually that's quite good so then, small liquid rocket fuel, that can go there, I think, it's quite a good fit really, maybe it would have made sense to have this on its side, it's fine. And let's plan where our pipes are going to go. And from here... It's pretty good. some liquid rocket fuel to make its way over here somehow. I don't think we can... I think unless we follow this section we're going to get in the way of solar power. So let's do it... Like this. And 
like this. And there we go. Oh, that is supposed to be liquid rocket fuel. That's actually a really good fit. Okay, let's have our construction spiders finish with the piping. For some reason I thought that was biters for a second there. That was a bit alarming. All this red right nearby. Let's go pick this stuff up. And... I guess let the bots pick up stuff from the spiders. Make sure their inventory doesn't end up full. That just leaves the pipes in this direction. I've got a few. Let's bring the spiders... Actually, the bots are following them, so... Bring them down here first. Take some of your pipe, please. And away we go. I'm gonna need some power here. How much power does this little network need? Only 1.2 megawatts. And of course the sun is starting to go down now. Um, but yeah. That'll have it run during the day, which I think is fine. We will get a little bit of pollution coming from out there. Uh, do we have light? Do we have oil getting up here yet? Not quite. Just missing one little piece. Let's let the bots catch up. And then. Once this is connected, that'll be that. All right. I should also add some storage for crude oil if we're going to have, um, uh, in fact, I'll start it here. If we're going to have the pump jacks only working during the day, this makes a lot of sense. Fishies. I thought my bots would pick those up, but okay. And power over here as well, please. Uh, we need more cliff explosives. I've got two left. Make that one left. And make that zero. Now, since we've got fluid, all we need is coal to get some of those sweet, sweet cliff explosives. Um, I would like to extend the RoboPort network out this way. Let's see. Chemical plant. Cliff explosives. Uh, not made in a chemical plant. Empty barrel explosives and grenade. 
grenade is just iron plate and coal. Uh, we also need coal here. And deep barrel. Can't prod this or this or this this. Uh we need some water. This requires sulfur as well. Sulfur is just water and petroleum. Uh, let's see, this is petroleum. So why don't we swap the positions of these two? this over a little bit more. Sulfur goes here. That's almost convenient. Not quite. And then, let's connect this up to water. Don't need this part. Could probably trim that from uh, this blueprint while I'm at it. Okay. Why are we not getting... Oh, that's an underground. Uh, don't tell me any need to move the entire thing over one tile. That would be a little upsetting. Oh, that's painful. What if I just... do this? Okay. Iron, coal, and steel, and more coal. I'll just put some... I was going to put a requester chest here to somehow be shared between these two, and then have them go into that, but I don't think there's a good way to do it. Surely there is, though. These are at a corner angle to each other. Cliff explosives goes here. And this goes here. This just requires steel. Get out of the way, tree. And iron plate as well. Actually, I should have just done it like this. Okay. Let's give this some power. And extend the RoboPort range out to here. 
Almost. That should do it. Uh, let's just do passive provider. Okay. Did I not put the steel in here? Where did it go, even? And I may have forgot to put the sulfic, sulfuric acid into the explosives. Looks like that will do it. Fantastic. Uh, meanwhile, we do have liquid rocket fuel slowly getting made. We're at about 5%, maybe. A bit less than that. A bit more than that, I think. Oh, that's interesting. This needs to be a stack inserter. In fact, a stack insert is not going to keep up. Um, so why don't we make it two stack inserters? Because that's not where the oil fits. There we go. And... Seems like we're keeping up with this pretty easily, because it's not under a, a speed beacon, that's why. Okay, um... Is there some way... This is getting tricky. I need to move this up a tile, and we may need two stack inserters here. Uh, I guess we could just direct insert from this one. Wait, no, we can't. Um... If this goes here... And then... Easy enough. And then the only problem is... 10 per second. The stack inserter can almost keep up with that. I guess it'll have to do. If we had a stack size of 12, it would be keeping up, I believe. In that case, let's update this blueprint. Select new contents. Except for the change we just made up here. I'll just remove that for now. How much pollution are we making? More than I thought. I guess with productivity modules, it gets a bit out of hand. How many cliff explosives have we made? Four, and they've all been used already. Let's get the spiders to place some more of those uh, solar panels and such then. I should probably do the same. And let's see. 
Did I get rid of my bots? No. Oh, there's no... All of the solar panels here have been placed. Okay, then. Uh, how many do we have left? 488. I think we can keep going for now. At least to take up the space that... Uh, we're already going to have exposed here after we trim everything. That's unfortunate. How is our power looking? Uh, considering it's the middle of the night... Not too bad, I think. Have we already been sending these back? Nope. Should probably set that up. Uh, that's the extent of the solar panels I was already carrying. Let's get the spiders. Uh, they're not carrying any more accumulators, are they? Get them to pick up more solar. Was I going to send more stuff here? Uh, yes. Very yes. That's a lot of accumulators. And spiders. And shields and lasers and batteries. Seems good. I think I will send those... Why are the rest of the spiders down here? Whatever, it's fine. Uh, I think I'll send those before I go there myself. So let's bring them over now. This is okay. I don't mind just barely being bottlenecked on that stack inserter. Yes. Oh, here's our delivery. And away we go. I guess I'll just grab the spiders directly. That's a fair few spiders. I'll take your... Whoops. Uh, hold on. Don't take those away from me, please. There we go. And the bots can handle the rest, I think. Except... Except I wanted them to give me the portable RTGs. There we go. Take that. And then we can go on a copy-paste spree. Missing portable RTG. That's weird. I thought I brought enough. I, I was pretty sure I counted them very carefully. Are there some portable RTGs over here somewhere? Doesn't look like it. Well, in any case, we've bolstered our numbers up a bit. Let's put you up in the corner. Uh, I think I'll recolor this one a bit more. And make sure I can recognize it. How about Black Spider for the leader for this lot? Oh. 
Oh, they're running double portable RTGs. I thought they had one each. Or maybe I was going to make more construction spiders. No, I think we have enough construction spiders. Hmm. Well, whatever the case, I think... It's a bit late to try and reconfigure them all now. They could probably go for less power generation, more batteries, more shields. As long as I don't send them on long trips. That would be stronger. It's fine. We have enough. I'll take the excess back with me, I guess. Maybe I'll make the leader a bit more heavily shielded as well. And that should give us one click to move all of these. How about... Hmm. Two hundred kilowatts for each of these, so we're very, very much going into the battery supply as soon as they take damage. But a hundred megajoules for each battery. Uh, 20 kilojoules per hit point, 200 hit points. I think for the leader... I don't really want to drop below 600 kilowatts of power, though. It's just enough to recharge the shields at full speed. Um, or run the three lasers barely losing any charge. Yeah, I think we'll leave it like this. Um, anyway, let's get a feel for just how strong this group is. And then... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, how close are we? That's actually much faster than I thought. Yeah, I think this build is sufficient um, for refueling the rocket. So, we also made six um, cliff explosives. I should probably... I can't believe, after all that, I didn't bring enough portable RTGs. Oh, there's another one here that should be following the leader. I'll wait till they come back, I guess. And away go our spiders. And away go our other spiders. Okay, why are you... Oh, I didn't put the same condition over here. Whoops. That goes in the trash slots. Now then. Uh, I would definitely like to extend the core mining drills down a bit further south and have more of them. We've already got quite a bit of excess power 
Uh, we could do a couple more core mining drills, maybe three more pretty handily without adding any more solar. But first... Oh, I forgot to... Okay, the f that was careless, but the front one took like 30% damage from walking head on into that. I'll definitely give them some more shielding. In fact, I'll just put, like, probably one laser on the front one. Um, if that. Maybe it should be, it should probably just be nothing but shielding, honestly. I think that's what I did on the original military spiders. Yeah, one RTG, double batteries, and nine shields. I think that's pretty sensible. Uh, let's get you to follow the leader. And this one... Come to me. Don't need this. We do need to set up delivery cannons for each direction here. Uh, so let's see, this is Rose DC Chest. And I've definitely got one or two of these that are still available. That's Taser, that's Marielle, Bornas, Lothar. This one's not taken, and this one's not taken. Fantastic. So. Uh, what was the name of... Rose. Okay. This is for LDS. Goes here. Back. Don't click the close button or I'll have to find it again. Rose. Heat shielding goes here. Explosives go here. Uh, copper and iron plate also. And then. Uh, this one also goes to the same chest. And steel and stone brick go to the other delivery cannon chest. Sulfuric acid so that we can make the batteries, so that we can make the defense ammo. Uh, this delivery cannon chest is a little bit hard to spot. Let's move the spiders out of the way. I don't think it can hit them, but, well, we just found out. It cannot. But still. And last but not least is steel. So that we can make barrels. No, steel is part of this. That's what it is. In fact, the barrels that make the sulfuric acid get turned into steel, but not very much. Right. We should see... Uh, once we get f four more batteries, we'll see our first locally produced media defense ammo. And as for you two, uh, you're going to Nervous. And I just have to find one of these stations that's not taken yet. Here we go. Wait, I can't go back. That looks right. 
team for this one, and then we just need to whitelist uh, Vitamelange. We're not sending Vitamelange itself here anymore, are we? Uh, we definitely stopped doing that. I should probably have a train remove the remainder of this stuff so we can use this block for something else. I think I know how to do that without much hassle. Let's take this one. And I need to see which station it is. It's the one just to the left. Uh, oh, LTN is going to have to tell it which thing it's supposed to be picking up. Okay, I'll have to do that myself. Um, but anyway, the thing we need to do here, which is the last step, is to whitelist Vitamelange core fragments, and then... We're about to send our first batch. Fantastic. Where's our spiders? Let's get them to... Confront the biters. And with that, I think I am ready to go to Navis Orbit. Um, the question is, what do I want to take with me? Leaving spare spiders here won't do much good if we don't have the equipment. Um, to put... Wait, 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 I forgot to change the shielding, uh, to make the front spider a shield. That's something I can't do remotely. Also, I guess we could add a provider chest here, take some steel, only if steel in the logistic network equals zero, and that'll give us a trickle of steel for, um, for making cliff explosives. We also need to do the same for iron, and we kind of need to some secure some coal as well. I could have a delivery cannon deliver that, but I'm not going to. There's a bunch of rocks with coal all over the place. I think just removing those is going to give us the cliff explosives that we need. Uh, so... I'll take the power armor stuff and the fish. I'll leave the cargo fragments, cargo rocket sections rather. Um, I will leave some delivery cannons and the chests. Anything else? Flat solar panels can get placed by something else. Oh, and where are our, where did our spiders go? That's right. We have to shield this one better. So we're gonna go. Uh, nothing but shields over here, and the rest is batteries. And once they finish recharging the shield, which is actually going to take a little while, we're at a bit over 10% charge now. Uh, it's not going to take as long, but uh, charging the batteries is going to take a moment. Okay. I think it should be safe to send them over here to wait. Uh, 
Um, how many logistic bots we got here? Somehow they ended up in my inventory. Now we've got the golden number. The maximum that doesn't succumb to the attrition. Okay. I'm kind of procrastinating leaving at this point, just out of the fear of forgetting something, I suppose. Um, I'll take these spiders with me. And apparently that was in the wrong place still. Oh, that's right. I wanted to have more of these defense cannons, if possible, because I was seeing a lot of um, it looked like a lot of biter medias were going to get through. So I don't suppose I brought those media defense cannons, did I? Originally, we asked for ten. We've got eight. That's not so great. In fact, that's pretty bad. Can I handcraft them? Uh, I need concrete. And... I could make one more with the processing units I've got. Manufacturing processing units here would be a bit of a nuisance. Um, I could make another 10. No. I really don't want to send another rocket here, but I might have to. Ah, oh, it's no big deal. We're just dipping into infinite resources over here. It's just the rate that we get them at. Uh, so, we're waiting on a capsule here. Before this thing can launch again. What was that? Do we have a traffic jam again? You're trying to go here, and you're trying to go here. And so on. And so on. Oh. I've seen this thing get jammed a long time. How did this happen? Alright, you. Back to the depot. Get yourself sorted out. Actually, maybe I should have sent it to... Uh, sand drop-off, but I guess it's a bit late now. Don't know which one it was heading towards. But then the sand where we dropped it off would have been imbalanced. Okay. Batteries are starting to charge here. Fantastic. Let's see how they do. I think this would be that good of a pattern, but let's see. That's more firepower than I was expecting. That's actually pretty effective. Really effective. All right, let's do it again. Should probably spiral in a little bit tighter than that once things get going. This base is a bit scarier. 
And let's see how they do if I don't touch the controls. Not too bad. I think I could probably send them directly into one of these bases without supervision. Um, just send them back for repairs afterwards. Come back here to recharge your shields. And just in case you take damage, go back to base. Okay. I think I'm going to have to send some... Uh, send another rocket to finish the... Uh... To finish the media defense installation array here. Oh, we did find one. And two. So we've got ten. Fantastic. Does that mean we have, like, one or two more in one of these spiders? Why are you carrying ammo? And ammo. I can't point at all of them properly. None of you are hiding another media defense installation, are you? Nope. All right, let's make sure they are getting ammo. Yes, good. And I think that's the end of the media defense installation ammo that got into the robo network. So I'll just get rid of it like this. And I think we are just about ready to go. Uh... Should I take the space capsule back? Probably. Let's go to Navis Orbit. It does make me pretty nervous. Oh, took a little bit of scratch damage. That's fine. Yeah, that's about what I would expect or hope for. I could maybe be a little bit more conservative with the orders given next time. Don't forget to not asphyxiate. And... Did we already put that beryllium plate in here? Yes, good. Anything else I should take back to the surface? Space capsule... Uh, not really. Anything I want to leave here in orbit? Cliff explosives. Definitely. I think we've already got a few of these lying around, but let's make sure we don't run out of them. Uh... We'll turn the rail that we've got up here into space rail at some point. Can't really think of anything else. Let's just go. Don't really want to delay this any longer. Alright, back to Nalvis with our load of beryllium plate. Uh, I should really set up a shortcut to check on... Which planet was it? Rose. Let's see. New pin. Hotkey. Uh, I've already taken a lot of these, but I feel like I'm not using half of them. It's fine. Control 8. 
and beryllium plate. We need to turn these into rods, uh, arrow frame poles, so that we can make weapon delivery cannon. Oh look, a convenient beacon. Uh, it was called pole, arrow frame pole. We can productivity module that. Um, I don't want to get rid of all of my beryllium plate that I can't yet reproduce. So I'll just do this for now. Weapon delivery cannon. I'm assuming we cannot prod this. And what else we need? Heavy girders and holmium cables. I think I already brought a bunch of heavy girders over here. Let's bring the cable. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, request threshold 160 and hold me in cable. What does this even stack to? Uh, I think it's 200, like wire, right? It's 50 actually. Okay. So we'll request 8,000 of that. Just once. Don't forget, it's a negative number for LTN to want to bring it back to zero. And after a few seconds, if everything's set up right, we should see a train scheduled to bring that over here. Any second now. Uh, let's see. Request stack threshold 160, 8000 holmium cable. Train limit is correct. Oh, there it goes. Fantastic. Which means we can now get rid of this for now. And then. Just set requests for all of these automatically. And why am I? That's weird. When I zoom in here, it doesn't show the area. Is it a pylon? There it is. Now I see. Okay. Um. How many of these do I even need? Like one? Oh, and how do we make the ammo for it? Weapon delivery capsule. It's almost the same as a delivery cannon capsule. It's kind of like a combination of the recipes there. Plus holmium plate. No copper involved. Okay then. We can't prod this. Nope. Uh, let's do... Request a chest over here. And do we have any iridium plate in the main bus robo network? I don't think so. On the way, zero. Logistic storage, zero. There's no LDS or explosives either. Explosives feels a bit weird. Uh, okay, there's definitely explosives. It's just really slow compared to what we need. Because we're still making rockets here. We should probably just not do that and have the spiders... Um, 
pick up the rockets from the other place. Speaking of the spiders, let's get them to do their thing. That's maybe a little bit careless. Should be fine. And go get your rockets from here next time. Now, that just leaves Iridium Plate, uh, which I believe stacks to 40. Yes. Which gives us 6,400 for a train load. That feels weird. Iridium Plate. And once the train is on the way with that, we'll cancel it. What are we waiting for still? Processing units, just girders now. And we've already got them. Fantastic. We might stop there. We'll see, see if we want more than one of these when beryllium is so precious first. I'm sure it'll be fine to make a few more rods though. Okay. Weapon delivery cannon. Wow, that's bigger than I thought. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, it's the same model as the media defense installations. Um. I don't suppose we can fit it here. What the? What? Why were there... Why were there exoskeleton legs on the ground here? Um, okay. I don't think that's sufficient to fit one of these here. Unless. That's probably not far enough. It is not. This is 9 by 9. Alright. Let's put it down this way. And we'll move this down here. Maybe we should... How long is it going to take to make these? Maybe we should store some up. Brilliant plate is on the way. Oh. Only the way we've set this up. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, this was designed to make sure the bots don't have to do too much too quickly. Not so much to unload it quickly. This is all passive providers, though. Yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, so we've got everything we need coming here for the ammo. Fantastic. Now, how do we use this thing? Weapon delivery capsule atomic bomb. Yikes. Iridium pile driver. So the delivery capsule itself doesn't do anything. We have to put in iridium pile driver or an atomic bomb. Okay. I don't I haven't got atomic bombs automated this playthrough. Let's see. Pile driver. Wait, what? Do... Wait. Oh, does this just require extra resources? Okay. So we don't need another machine to make this. Okay, then. 
Let's put this stuff in here. And how do we set this up? Energy. Uh, 10,000 megajoules. That's an amount. Wait, is just placing this thing here draining all of our accumulator charge? Industrial furnace, big mining drill, delivery cannon. I don't see it. Do we have to list a target first? Automatic retargeting. Interesting. Let's look at rows. Did it just start taking stuff in when I clicked that, or was that, were those girders already there? Click. So automatic re automatic targeting is just part of it, I guess. I'm definitely going to want to make a rail block to support this. So we need explosives, heat shielding, LDS, holmium cable, iridium plate, uh, rocket control unit, and heavy girder. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7 different inputs. Since explosives is going to two different things, maybe we could just do eight different inputs to simplify it. Use with caution. You don't say. Uh, rather than... How many of these do we need? One rocket control unit, one weapon delivery capsule, iridium pile driver. No, uh, one weapon delivery capsule. Okay. So this is just waiting uh, for some LDS. I just want to fire it once or twice. Um, before we set up a proper system. Uh, fully automatic, that is. And we'll set that up in the rail network. With as many of these as we can fit, probably. Uh, let's see. How many beryllium plate do we have here? We actually already went through... The 200 beryllium plate. We've got 328 uh, aeroframe poles remaining. So rounding down each stack of these can make two of these things. I think for now we'll make just one of them. Um, but I will lay out the design in a rail block. Uh, to support as many as we can fit. Where should we put it though? Maybe here? Oh! Have we actually... It finally happened. We actually cleared all this stuff out. Fantastic. That means these 1, 2, 3, 4 rail blocks are completely available for use. Uh, I want to do a save real quick because I need to test whether running a deconstruction planner over this area will still crash it. I don't think it will because I... Th oh, yes it will. We need to remove the 115 um, crafting combinators manually because of a bug if they get destroyed by biters or something. Um, but other than that, 
I'm quite happy to see all of this finally empty. So I think we'll build it here, perhaps? Also, I still have some old furnaces to remove. Let's check on our new planet. Uh, that's weird. Don't tell me we don't have repair packs. Uh, what do we need? Iron, plate, copper, and stone. We do have iron, plate, and copper here. Might be a little bit of a nuisance. Whoa, okay. Uh, to find room for. Um, I want to do what I did here with steel and just take a little bit out. I guess we can do this. Let me guess, we don't actually have any inserters here at all. Oh, the construction spiders should have them. Let's get ourselves a remote, and I'll have them swing by here on the way back. Okay. At least the biters are going to take a long time to getting around to attacking this. Hopefully some of them have some... Oh, I see... A long arm inserter, but other than that, oh, a fast inserter. I saw that. Yeah, I don't think they have any filter inserters here. I definitely should have left some behind. Fast inserters, no inserters. Fast inserters. Hmm. Well, we've got our steel. We've got a lot of cliff explosives. I think we'll steal this one. And I'll reconfigure this thing here a little bit. Um... Do we not have a passive provider chest? There we go. Something's coming to pick it up. And we'll just say... Hang on, how many types of things are in here? Six. There's too many to go set filters blacklist. I could try... This is really uh, kind of a budge way to do it, but can I not set these filters? Oh, that's on set filters, that's why. Iron plate, copper plate, whitelist. It is powered. No condition, whitelist, iron plate, copper plate. Why do I see a red light? On um, that's why. Okay. Uh, now copper. Lock this. Set both filters, and hopefully, hopefully that'll keep one stack of each available in the. Uh, logistic network, even though that doesn't reach down here. Alright. So that's our iron plate being taken over to supply uh, 
grenades for the cliff explosives. That's not the best way to do it, but it'll work. Because of the low throughput. Now then. Uh, the other thing we need is stone, but we're incidentally picking up a lot of stone all the time. Uh, so that should be enough to make quite a lot of repair packs. Let's get the spiders to pick this up. And I guess we'll put this here. We need a requested chest. I need to seriously rethink. Not entirely rethink, it's more just add some stuff to and refactor the design for these uh, little outposts. Meanwhile, we'll take our spiders on a little ride, since they haven't really taken much damage. Just the front one has taken like 10%. Now, don't tell me. I brought, I, I took all of the colored chests with me as well, didn't I? Uh, that's sub-optimal. Do I have any... I have some requested chests I'm not using. Let's get rid of that. And as for passive providers, that can just be a regular old storage chest. Are they going to build it? There it goes. Now, repair pack. Keep going until repair pack uh, is greater than 200. Equal. And we need to request all the things here. Maybe not the iron and copper. That should do it. So once our... Oh, you're getting ahead of everyone. I'll just have them do a little dance so the other spiders catch up. I want to see just how much damage they take from hitting one of these head on. Basically nothing, actually, because the lasers get in range. It is a pretty small base, though. Yeah, that's fairly effective. All right, back to Nervous. Um I'll take the cannon with me, I think. And let's get started on this rail block. I should probably change my Spidertron remote here back to the local construction spiders. There we go. Yeah. 
And let's get rid of all this for now. That should be chain signals. Uh, we're going to need a couple of relatively big stations. I don't have my train stations because what is going on here? Oh, the construction bots from the robo network here were doing that. Oh, that did it. Okay. Once the construction spiders get here, it'll be a bit easier to deal with. Anyway, we need ourselves a train stop right about here and here. We need some chests. Kind of hard to see where they're supposed to go. You're not carrying the train stops, are you? Nope. Right. Let's get our construction spiders to pick this up. Perfect. Now, what we need... Explosive... Let's make a little list here. Uh... Check what's needed for the capsule first. Explosives. Heat shield LDS. Wait, what? Heat shielding LDS. Chromium cable and iridium plate. And for this one... Explosives, RCU, and Heavy Girder. Rocket Control Unit. And Heavy Girder. And that's it, right? Depending on the way, if we're going to use a whole rail block for this, it's probably... Okay, hold on. This is going to drive me crazy. I, I need to get rid of these imaginary uh, crafting combinator settings entities. There's one here. It's still there? What? Oh, normally when you place the crafting combinator there, it gets rid of it. Oh, oh is that all it takes? Okay, then. Probably should have saved the game before I tried that, just in case. Hey, Creakly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This one can't be marked for deconstruction. That was what I was just trying on all those other ones and it worked this time. Weird. Okay. I think we're really not going to need a whole rail block for this, but... Um... Let's see how it goes. So this is two belts if we belt the weapon delivery capsule. Well, it's two belts either way, so we may as well do that. I don't know how fast it can go at all. So... I think we'll just make it and then get a feel for it and refactor it later. Redoing delivery process? Uh, nope, this is a uh, weapon delivery cannon. 
Um, we've got everything we need to support it in the rail network and consistent throughput. Uh, we just need to set it up. But if we're going to put a whole... That's a little frustrating. Not gonna lie. I have no way of... Hmm... I think I have an idea. I'm gonna have to be careful not to do that in future. Uh, but yeah, we've got some repair packs for these spiders now. That's good. Let's get them to do their thing over here. And then... check on them after that. So what we need is explosives. Each. That's eight things actually. No, it's seven, but let's think about how we're going to lay this out. How do we do it with this stuff? This is one, two, three, four. Okay, it repeats because this is four things on each side. I might just take this design again. Give the biters freedom from above? Exactly. Yeah, I might start by stealing this design from myself. Um. And we'll maybe think about changing it a little bit. So, first is explosives. Heat shielding, LDS. Uh, why don't we do it like this? Heat shielding up here. LDS. I think we have to change this thing here. Heat shielding. And then... Formium cable and iridium plate. Cable. And plate. Cable. Uh, cable. And iridium plate. Alright, so this goes here, and here, and here. And on the other side. I have no idea what the throughput rate is going to be like. Because it's hard to get a feel for, like, you have to use this stuff to get a feel for how quickly it consumes. Um, but for now we'll just do a half belt of everything, except maybe explosives. Yeah, I think explosives will be the thing that we suppose needs the highest throughput. Although GERD is uh, in the running as well. But I don't think we need to worry too much. So what do we got here? Everything but explosives. Um, I would kind of like to put explosives here. And then everything else. It's just RCU and heavy girder. So I guess we'll make this whole thing explosives. Except it has to be the same on each cargo wagon. Uh, yeah, no, that should be fine. Rocket control unit goes here. Heavy girder goes here. Rocket 
control unit, heavy gutter, explosives, explosives. Okay. And then this thing will just have inputs from these three belts. Would have been quicker to use the belt for that. And here we need explosives, rocket control unit, heavy girder, which is these two belts. And if we're just using one of these, that should be it. I have no idea what it's going to look like yet if we were to actually don't destroy that. If we were to try and fit as many of these as neatly as possible uh, into a rail block, but I don't see any indication yet that we need to do that. So let's name our station here. Heat Shield LDS uh, Holmium Cable, Iridium Plate, Girder, God damn it. Heat Shielding, LDS, Holmium Plate, I mean, Holmium Cable, Iridium Plate, Girder. And then, Explosives and Rocket Control Units. Requester. And we're kind of going to need to put all of those into the constant combinator for LTN. Let's see. Minimum train length, maximum train length, one train at a time, uh, request stack threshold, is one train load, and I think that's it. Just need to set all of these to a train load or two. This was like 6400, wasn't it? Uh, and I think this is 1600. Girders, I have no idea. Stack to 50. Okay. That should be it. Uh, what about the combinator? I think that should be fine, actually. H divided by negative 4 output H. Oh, yeah. So it's actually a balanced unloader for each resource. Okay, that should be fine. And then we just have to tell LTN what's in the chests. So far, we've got girders on the way. I could probably bump this up so that we can have more trains coming, at least for the moment.
considering we've set it up to ask for one trainload of each resource, maybe this is actually totally reasonable. Oh, here we go. Five trains on the way. Fantastic. While we're here, why don't we finish cleaning up some of this mess? I need to manually remove some of the crafting combinators. Otherwise, game go crash. In fact, because I'm messing with this right now, I definitely want to give it a save. Uh, do we have any more in this block? We do. Sneaky. Is that all of them? Fantastic. Let's remove this. We also need to get rid of the robo network that's here as well, leaving a bunch of floating construction bots with no home. Uh, can we perhaps get rid of that weird entity? Yes, fantastic. And one down here as well. Nice. Get rid of all of this stuff. Um, bots are still a bit confused. I'm just going to pick these ones up. I think I'll just run a deconstruction planner over this that just removes medium poles because they're the main thing stopping me from seeing where the uh, crafting combinators are. Feels not great trying to point at these things with the spider. How's our train stop doing? Oh, it's so hard to see, but we do actually have heat shielding all the way to the end of the belt already. Fantastic. Train's doing its reap thing again. You do have nuclear fuel, so there's no reason you should be struggling or anything. There we go. What's this train doing? It's in motion. Okay. No more crafting combinators in this area. Fantastic. Oh, there's a robo port there still. Let's deal with that. And I think we're down to the last one. Except for these two that I've still got there. It'll be good to finally not have to worry about crashing the game if I mark these things for deconstruction. Wait a sec. If this uh, 
was it called? Weapons delivery cannon does what I have heard it does. And we don't have to do any further research for the automatic targeting. Does that mean I can actually clear out all of the biters on Nalvis automatically with this? I'm guessing it takes a lot of energy. Or s well, I know it takes a lot of energy. Um, but I'm guessing it might not be that easy is what I'm trying to get at. I think we did it. Fantastic. Let's get rid of everything in here. And here. And here. There's our Holmium cable on the way. And it looks like all that's left is a few ghosts of um, crafting combinator settings. Like this one right here. Nice. I should probably turn this on so I can find some more room in my inventory. Oops. Where is it? Fantastic. Only two to go. Oh, I want to test something. Tell Spider to follow me. Activate jetpack, and it immediately loses its target. That's what I thought. Because I've been informed that technically what happens every time you activate or deactivate the jetpack is your character dies. That's why the biters and the bots and such... Uh, don't know what to do with you for a moment when you do that. What else are we waiting on here still? Girders are on the way. Plate is on the way. Cable is still on the way. Why is it taking them so long? Here we go. Okay, it definitely doesn't help that we've got only four... Um, only one stack inserter for each cargo wagon to unload it. But we won't have to make deliveries to this station all that often. That just leaves rocket control units, LDS, uh, and explosives. The rest is already on its way, I believe. Yep. You would think with the nuclear fuel, they would be accelerating a little bit faster. Also, I seem... Well, I was going to say I seem to have picked a terrible spot for this because of traffic, but... This station is going to be pretty low throughput, I suspect. So that's fine. Let's check on our little outpost, shall we? Spiders didn't take any damage. Fantastic. And in that case, let's get them to continue the work. Oh, we've finished uh, scanning the entire planet. It's not as bad as I might have thought. It is going to take quite a bit to clear out all these biters. It depends on just how good the um, the system we're building right now is. How quickly and at what cost it can wipe out biter bases from another planet. 
and also what we get out of the auto targeting. Uh, I want to check on your batteries. Oh, that hardly did anything. Fantastic. Let's bait the biters first. Use the cliffs. Nice. And then. Since we're still not even scratched, let's head down here. I think I'll start by clearing out this little thing. So we don't bump into it while we're clearing out the other base. And let's see how this is going. We're still unloading plate. This is fine and good. Uh, that just leaves quite a bit, actually. LDS, Holmium Cable. That cable has been waiting there for a surprisingly long time. I guess it's not surprising at all if we have one stack inserter for each resource, except for explosives. Okay. Let's head over this way. And straight into it. Get those lasers in range. Did we take some actual damage? Yes. Just a little bit. I'm surprised I'm hearing the cannons from way over here. Should probably wait. Oh, I was going to say you should probably wait for the shield to recharge, but it's already half done. Alright, I'm pretty confident they can manage if I do that. And let's send them back this way for resupply. Meanwhile, Holmium Cable has arrived. And is very slowly getting unloaded. Uh, do we have any other trains queued up? No, let's... Oh. That's weird. Why do we not have other trains queued up to come here yet? We've only got 3,000 low-density structures. Why is that? Uh, don't tell me the iron and or glass drop-off is messed up again. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, I can't say that, oh look, this chest isn't balanced, that's what caused it, because it's been like this long enough for all of these to be full since then. Um, I can actually fix this remotely though, even though it'll leave some stuff laying on the ground. That's pretty disappointing. I was sure we'd figured this out. Oddly enough, I don't think I've seen copper and stone get stuck down here since we made these. Now we have to get this out of the way. It's kind of hard to see with glass. Make sure there's no inserters sticking out. That's the main thing. 
and same thing over here. Nope, nope, nope. Give, give it back. I think if I use the map view to do it like this, I have to wait till the inserters are trying to load it. This one's still okay. I could set it so that we start loading one thing at a time earlier, and that should prevent this issue, but it would require more combinators, which I'm not a fan of. Are we not loading the rest of the iron here? Why is it looking for glass? Huh? Great, it's prioritizing the glass signal. Alright, let's just get you to move on. And I'll take this out of Serta's hands. Don't tell me that's another train coming in. It shouldn't be. Train limit here should be one. Okay, that's fine. Instruction spiders, go and tidy that up, please. At this rate, I'm almost tempted to just not have 24 inserters to load it. Um, it would slow it down by quite a bit, but given the amount of time that it takes to get 16,000 iron plate, maybe it doesn't matter if it takes a bit of time to load it. All right, everything seems to be on this one. That should be all of these working for now, at least. Right, what other resources? Are... That's right, we're missing LDS because it wasn't being delivered. Uh, the glass wasn't being delivered here. This one's stuck as well, isn't it? Alright, let's go fix that one. Maybe I should set the stack request threshold even higher. Or maybe even though the system does a balanced load. If we're slowly, if we're not producing for a while and we're slowly taking more from this chest than other chests, maybe that's how that happens. Also, while we're at it, we do not need the stack size 1 combinator. And there's another one we need to fix as well. Maybe uh, it would be a ton of work at this point. And it also sort of goes against some of the upsides of having a rail block system. But maybe it would be better if all of the uh, furnaces were in the same place. If this is going to keep happening. 
Right, what do we have here? How many combinators would it take to stop most of them? We could do each divided by 48 and or maybe a number somewhere between 24 and 48 and most of the inserters would stop loading significantly sooner. That would exacerbate the problem of the chests that line up with the individual cargo wagon stack inserters uh, emptying sooner than others, but I don't, I don't know if that's even a problem anymore. Also, the fact that we get like two or three extra swings after this thing fully loads with the 24 inserters. Let's see. How close are we? How many do we have remaining for each cargo wagon before it switches over? Literally just four. But the fact that it does that... It shouldn't ever break. If it's, if it's doing that correctly once, then it shouldn't be a problem. All I'm thinking about doing here is changing it so that we switch over to doing the slow load a bit sooner. I suppose I could add the um, add the stack size thing back to the remainder stack inserter. That would so if we stop with like hundreds of iron plate remaining for each cargo wagon, but we switch over to a stack inserter that's going to do a precise load. That kind of breaks the purpose of slowing this thing down to make it more precise, though then we're relying on the stack size of this one to be perfect. And of course, as I pay attention to it, it's going to load perfectly every single time. It has been a while since I saw... Maybe there's something that I didn't copy-paste correctly here. Um, because it's been a while since I saw the copper plate and stone brick loader get jammed. So maybe there's something different between the two of them. These all look to be correct. Oh, I can do it this way. That's much better. I don't think it's because of this inserter that was left over. S1, stack size 1, it does absolutely nothing. Hmm. Let's double check the combinators are all the same. Uh, 
that's not the same one. Okay, that's fine. Provide stack threshold 300, and this is still 200. Did I make that same change down here? That might be the difference. And that would be consistent with what I determined to be the problem previously. And the fact that we haven't seen uh, copper and stone brick train, if I recall correctly, we haven't seen a copper and stone brick train get stuck ever since we made that change. So we're just going to increase the amount of stuff that has to be in the chests. Except there's like so much of it here, that shouldn't matter. Okay, well, we're going to try it in any case, even if it doesn't seem like it should work. Because that's the one difference that I've found um, between these two. There has to be almost two train loads worth of stuff before it comes to pick up copper or stone brick. And this one was set to a bit more than one. So, in that case, let's copy this. And patch it to all of these ones. I was a bit su wait, what is that station doing there? Oh, I did not want to copy that. Let's remove that. Remove that. Remove that. And remove that. I don't know if I did this last one up here. I think I did. Okay, so all of those should be set to... Uh, not this one. This one. Provide stack threshold 300. And we need to copy it down south as well. One, two, three, and four. Did that one get stuck again? No, not yet. Okay. If that's all it took, I'm going to be a little bit upset with my... Wait. Don't tell me I forgot this. Uh, don't tell me that I set the copper and stone brick to 300 and deliberately left this at 200 to see if this would stop getting jammed and this would continue. I'm... I feel like I did do that, and I'm a little bit embarrassed uh, if that's why... I mean, not embarrassed if that's why this has been getting stuck for a while, but if I simply forgot that that's the reason. Good morning, chat and hacks. Welcome, uh, Kellogg's. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's actually the only reason that I can think of that I would have had... that I would have changed the provide stack threshold here and left it the same here. That makes a ton of sense. Uh, do we have everything we need here? Just 
we're just missing rocket control units and LDS and explosives actually. That's surprising. Why are we... We've actually got lots of explosives. Uh, so why is LTN not bringing... Oh, we do have explosives here. The balanced unloader is just being weird. Explosives greater than or equal to zero. I know why that is. It's because this is assuming there's... Um, this is assuming that there's four as opposed to eight of these inserters outputting the explosives. Um, I think it'll probably be fine if, in the case of explosives, we just don't bother with the balanced unload. Hey, Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pen driver radius is smaller than atom bomb, like atom mod. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, that's about what I would expect, but the atomic bomb makes nasty scorch marks, right? We also have to involve a um, hundred uranium each. Jeez. That's so much worse than I expected. That's about ten times worse than the worst case that I was expecting, actually. Yeah, we don't have uranium flow that that's that great just yet. So I think we should probably not. Um, however. So we do have the explosives. Um, we're still waiting on the rocket control units, which is not too surprising because they've been all consumed by making space... Uh, Space capsules. Um, red circuits are now suffering. No, red circuits are actually okay by the looks of it. Uh, we're getting 90 per second copper plate. Did this just start up again, or why is the copper cable not reaching the end here? I probably tested this with a stack size of 12. That's that's probably it. Well, um, final upgrade for stack inserters. We need material science pack 2, so that's going to take a little while. 22k red circuits here. Uh... I think I will increase the priority of this one. Let's make it nice and high, because I really want to see this get started. Every day I learn there's new depth to this game, indeed. Jcraft, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, to be clear, this is... Um, space exploration, so it's a bit more involved than the base game. AT Hex and Chat, looks like I can only audio lurk here today. Nasty headache, can't look at a moving screen. Unfortunate. Evil Plur, thanks for dropping by. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Other than the nasty headache, I suppose. Uh... So we tidied that up. This one's looking okay. This one is looking okay. And this one's fixed, but there's a bunch of stuff on the ground. Uh, so we're waiting on rocket control unit, low density structure. That's red circuits that are being produced over there. And... Low density structures are 
somewhat in motion. I think the copper train just arrived. No, copper's totally full. Oh no. Uh, that's an outdated unloader right there. It's managed to get itself into a state where it only unloads a stack size of one every time. Although, I'm surprised that's happening because... We do have this thing here to make it so that they're allowed to put the stack size a bit ahead of... This is weird. Okay, so the way this works... Let's check the wiring first. The wiring looks correct. We have the contents of all of these chests. Negative average of that. Um, copper plate has to be greater than or equal to zero for this to be enabled. And we set the stack size to how much ahead of the average it is. However, with this... Oh, why is this switched off? There we go. <laughs> why was this switched off? So, the, so what this positive signal here going to all of these inserters does is basically pretends they are one stack ahead of the average if they were actually exactly at the average. So we get stack inserters doing their thing if everything's even. But once they get a little bit ahead, they lower their stack size a bit, so they slow down. How did that end up switched off? Honestly. These ones are all fine. Okay. I think we're going to be making LDS a little bit faster soon. Just a little bit. Look at that glorious spaghetti. We got four belts of plastic, four belts of glass, four belts of copper, and two belts of steel making their way to all of the LDS machines. And it's finally reaching the end of the belt. At max rate, this gives us 23 per second. That's a stack just, just a little bit slower than a stack every two seconds. Um... going to be a bit over three minutes before we have a train automatically come to pick this up. That's a little bit sad. Uh, don't tell me there's the same problem here. No, heat shielding is totally fine. In fact, heat shielding is actually full. That's good. Okay, um, I guess while we're waiting for this, we could do one or two other things that are productive, like maybe get some of these sciences finished, that might be a good idea. Let's check on our planet since there's threatening biters. It seems like it's going to take a while. Um before biters end up attacking this. So we really just need to clear out to, like, this distance. Unless the pollution cloud just isn't done spreading yet. Let's send them over here and here. Actually... Get them to catch up to each other before they run into any wider bases.
Oops. There we go. And I'm confident they'll roll over all of these small beta bases uh, without much trouble. And that's about enough. Let's bring them back for resupply. Okay. What are we still waiting on? We've got our girders. Oh, we had those already a while ago. Yeah, it's LDS and rocket control units. Um, I'm pretty sure the block that we've got for making rocket control units is more than sufficient. It's just the prerequisite materials run out. 23 per second, that's actually incredible. Um, especially considering a stack size of 10. Good morning, Triple Exposer. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Let's get our local spiders to do some work as well. Although, if this uh, weapons delivery cannon is even half as good as I hope it's going to be, uh, they might be out of a job relatively soon. Let's get them to clear that out nice and carefully. We'll bring them back here to check how they're doing. Hey, Drears TV. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I still haven't done the prerequisites for green science. We should probably do that. Although this little puzzle was surprisingly difficult. Let's copy this part, nice and easy, and copy flip, that goes there. Uh, train stop goes a couple of tiles ahead of where the train can just barely fit in, and a couple of chain signals in the middle here. It's good because you can set it and forget it. It's not exactly fast though. Yeah, I would... That's what I'm hoping for, basically. And we can always speed it up if we want to. Good to see you again, Mass. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's see... What do we need for purple signs? Also... Let's swap this out. Uh, where's my assembly machines? Purple sites. Oh, that's right. It was only... I think we did it already. Um, red science and blue science. We don't have to... Oh, and yellow science. Blue science and... Yeah, red, blue, and yellow science, we don't need to add anything to the rail network. There are no... the prerequisites are already in there. So... That's going to be much easier uh, to get set up for now. So for yellow science, we need processing unit, flying robot frame, and LDS. It takes 35 seconds, so I will not be shocked if the absolute maximum number of machines that we can fit in the rail network, uh, in, in the rail block rather, is going to be easily supported by, um, by the inputs. Also, we should probably connect that up. That little bit of rail sticking out there does not please my eye. 
Uh, we'll get the spiders to finish building this first, though. There's our LDS. Fantastic. Um, and that just leaves rocket control units, which might be a bit of a problem. We're still waiting on the red circuits. Maybe I should do another... I don't know that we need another blue circuit build, but I already did a rail block that does both. Probably if we tried to use more of this space for red circuits, um, I think we're going to find the amount of input that we need is very difficult with the belts coming in. Right now it needs two belts plastic, two belts green circuits, like one and a half or more belts copper plate. So call it two, two, two. Um, I guess we can't double this, but um, we could fit. We could do the exact same thing and fit uh, seven of these instead of the blue circuits as well. Although, since we've got the green circuits and the red circuits here, this saves a ton of train trips to get blue circuits done. I don't think we've had... That's actually surprisingly few blue circuits. Okay, yeah. I, I think we'll just copy this rail block. If we're not bottlenecked on resources themselves... Um, we're still waiting on getting green circuits in here, but that's fine, I guess. Do we need even more green circuit production? We definitely do not. Uh, actually... I don't know if I've ever seen a train come here to pick up green circuits. Oh, this one's looking full as well. Okay, I, I do suspect the trains are picking it up from here as well. So we have no trouble whatsoever at the moment making enough green circuits. Um, we should probably... Uh, copy the red and blue circuit build. Let's copy this down here. And then... Cross like so. One, two, three. We need some more productivity modules to finish this. I'll get the... this is backwards, but it's got the productivity modules. I'll get the train to come bring that stuff over here. Zero B star. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's get the bot, uh, spiders to finish building this part, so I don't have to think about it again. And if we're lucky, all we have to do is change the uh, inputs. Wait, what? Oh yeah, it's belt weaved. So red belt is going to be um, playing robot frames, I think. No, I, I don't think the ratio is going to work out that well. Blue was 3 to 2 to 1. It takes 24 seconds. This is 3 to 1 to 3. It takes 35 seconds. It's probably going to be so slow that we can just 
put each resource where we want, and that's going to be fast enough. So this is the one resource that goes faster than the other two. Um, yeah, this is not shaped the way that the yellow science is shaped. Where's our train? It is in a traffic jam. Why do you think you have no path? I specifically set up one trash pickup station uh, to always be enabled, but with a, with a minimum um, minimum train limit of zero, so that that wouldn't happen. But apparently, here we are. Alright, so the train is now on its way. I'm seeing an iron train that is not yet stuck. This is good. What else was I waiting on? Let's check our spiders. They are undamaged. Fantastic. How much Vitamelange do we have at this point? Also, let me just park myself in the middle of this. We have... Uh, 26,000 Vitamelange. Four fragments. That's less than two train loads, it's not that great, but what do you expect when I only set up uh, one core mining drill and two cannons so far? I think we're actually bottlenecked on the cannons for now. But we'll expand that when the planet is secure. Have I run out of productivity modules already? That's a bit of a surprise, considering I just bought the train here for that. Um, okay. Spooters, go get resupplied, please. And I guess I'll take the train home. Should I leave the speedy spider here or bring it back with me? I think I'll bring the train back here. Uh, okay, how many machines is there so we can do it this way? 320. Three, two, zero. That gives us two belts for LDS, two belts for processing unit, and less than half a belt total for flying robot frames. Wow. Uh, so this is going to be Two belt of whichever resource. This is going to be two belts of each of these. Uh, how many machines is this? 14. That is way less than half a belt for any one resource. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Like, it's going to be a sort of weird shape, but I'm pretty sure if we want to be lazy, we can actually just copy-paste blue and change it. We could put any one resource in any one of these train stops. And it will be sufficient um, for the throughput. So 
So what are we looking for? Flying robot frame, LDS, and processing unit. Uh, let's start with a standard pickup station. And we'll set the name here. I'll make this one LDS. I mean, not LDS, Flying Robot Frame. Just because the other two have the exact same ratio. And I clicked LDS, didn't I? I guess they look sort of similar. They're both, like, lightweight and have holes in them. That's my excuse. Uh, I can't actually change the settings of the Combinator until it's been placed. So this one is going to be Blue Circuits and LDS. Or oh, whichever comes first here. There we go. Blue Circuit, LDS Requester. Uh, I'll get the train in motion. And then while we wait to reach our destination. Uh, we'll set these up. Blue circuit. LDS. And flying robot frame. Oops. This part should be universal. Yes, good. And this part, we need to change the specific resource that the individual inserters are looking for. There we go. Train should be arriving. Oh, never mind. Seems we're experiencing a lot more traffic lately. It's not getting bad or anything, but I'm seeing trains having to actually wait a bit more often now. It does pay to try and set things up so that trains will have a very short trip. And this one is still waiting, because this one's overtaking. How rude. Wait, wait, really? Okay, that's just... Very rude. Do our construction spiders need some more time? Yes. Uh, we predictably still don't have rocket control units. They are still waiting on red circuits. And red circuits are waiting on copper. I didn't think we were having trouble with copper anymore. How much do we have here? At least one train load. 25k. Twenty nine K, twenty K, twenty six K. Oh, but that's going to be still short of the threshold to. That's really weird. I don't understand why. The chest at the end is more empty than the rest of these, even though... Actually, I think I do understand. Okay, I lied. It's because I'm allowing the inserters to go past the average a little bit. Hmm. 
I'm a bit surprised it can get as bad as the 700 here and a thousand here. Just from going 20 ahead of average. I should probably try a smaller number and see if that makes the fast uh, the stack inserters keep up with four blue belts input. But yeah, so basically we're smelting other things, and we've got copper there, but it just, we need to make more before the trains will come and get it. So we're actually, for the moment, suffering from a shortage of smelters, but I don't know how much of that has to do with... I was going to say, I don't know how much that has to do with how our trains got stuck for a while, but considering it's only been iron and glass trains for a significant amount of time, um, I don't think that's the issue. I think we actually still need to make more smelters. So we'll do that right after this one. Instruction spiders look like they are resupplied. And I guess we'll continue the smelter rows down here. In fact, I'm very tempted to do a giant copy paste, but no, we'll do one block at a time. Uh, for various reasons. Alright, let's get the rest of these productivity modules in place before we summon the train or trains. And away they go. A few more fast inserters are needed. Why is there stone in here? Be gone. Okay. Blue circuit, LDS. I know LDS is 8,000. I recall now blue circuit stacks to 100. 16,000. Or I should probably double it so that we get two train loads. Uh, so that it doesn't run out before the train comes. Uh, let's connect this up. And this one is flying... Wait, what does a flying robot... Uh, robot... Robot? Flying robot frame stacks to 50. And... Let's go two train loads, actually. So this will be 32,000, 16,000, and we're good. Why are you using the Combinators? Uh, because I like to, and in LTN it's kind of necessary. So the absolute basics of LTN is it always tries to the signal that you feed it for how much of something you've got, uh, it'll always try to bring that towards zero. So if you have a positive number uh, that you feed into this logistic train stop input, it tells LTN that there's stuff here available for pickup. And if you give it a negative number, it means please give me uh, this resource. The rest of these are settings for only one train at a time, please. Always a train of length six. And provide stack threshold means don't request a train unless it can bring 160 stacks, which is four cargo wagons full of stuff at a time. Holy cow, you have trains running on the same track in both directions? Yes and no. 
So basically the trains that I'm using this playthrough have a locomotive on each end. Um, on the roundabouts, the trains are allowed to go both ways. But on the, well, most of the time at least, on the straight rails, uh, the trains are only allowed to go one direction. Uh, so that avoids the problem of having trains facing each other, getting stuck. So most of the time it's a typical left-hand drive. But everywhere you see these crisscross things and then the roundabouts, uh, the trains can go onto the opposite side, not through the straight rail. Uh, they can only go left-hand drive here, but they can go onto the roundabout in either direction, but they can only exit left-hand drive. So it makes it very, very easy to have a train stop that doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Uh, the train can come in this way, and then it can either leave this way or leave in this direction. Interesting setup, but I just use station configurations to wait till fully loaded, and set train limit to 1 for something like that. I never really needed combinators. Um, I've done a lot with attempting to get vanilla uh, attempting to get a good vanilla train system, but there's only so much you can do. I do have uh, some minor complaints with LTN, and it is somewhat difficult to learn, but once you once it clicks, um, and I, I thoroughly recommend looking carefully at the mod settings uh, and changing some of those. Um, because some of these default settings will absolutely cause you problems that you don't know where they're coming from. Um, but yeah. Uh, being able to have, instead of a train for blue circuits, a train for copper plate, a train for iron ore, and so on. Instead of that, I just have a bunch of trains, and they get assigned a job when they go back to the depot. Um, it's much, much, much easier to have enough trains. It takes a lot fewer depots. Um, in fact, this it might be time to add another depot, but this entire thing so far, judging by the fact that I'm seeing a few trains sitting idle, we're probably still fine. But yeah, I've got one, two, three uh, depots that can fit uh, 36, wait, no, 18 trains each. Uh, that's for the long trains. We can fit double that with the short ones. Fluid wagons are a whole other issue because um, I think there is a setting with LTN that if the fluid wagon comes back to the depot with some stuff in it, you can have it just deleted. But I didn't want to do that, so I made this monstrosity to extract whichever resource comes back to the depot in the train and make it available. Um, and you can see it's still getting used, so... I don't actually know how we're coming back here with crude oil. It should be the case that the train doesn't come back until it's empty. Or maybe there's... If there's no crude oil up here... Yeah. I think there's probably something I've forgotten in this system that puts crude oil into it. I don't know. But yeah, we've... It's a lot simpler to do with the cargo wagon trains um, to take everything out of them and then have them have the stuff that they were carrying be available for pickup by a vanilla train that I just called trash pickup. Uh, Mr. Summon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Oh, a mod? Okay, I was like, left-handed trains, now I see you're playing modded. Tiango Games, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, did I finish this build already? I need to change the name of this station, at least. Not, okay, strictly speaking, I don't need to. It doesn't make a difference to LTN, but I would like to. Uh, there's a few things things missing down here. Some inserters. Let's grab those. And I don't know why we haven't had any of these items delivered yet. The flying robot frames in particular haven't been required by any other build, I don't think. And they've been full for a long time. So why... We're not that short on trains, right? There's literally like a dozen or so that are sitting idle. So it's not like this isn't getting done because it's not a high enough priority. Maybe I forgot to connect the combinator. No. Switch it on. No. Is the... If the station was inaccessible, LTN would still schedule the drop-off. Um, but the train would just be saying no path. This is odd. We've got 57,000 flying robot frames in these chests alone. We're definitely connected to the logistic train stop input. Provide stack threshold is 160. Um, did I... That's the problem. I put provide stack threshold instead of request stack threshold. Same thing here. Whoops. Request stack threshold. So within 5 to 10 seconds we should see this light go yellow. That means a train has been scheduled. And if we then click on this station, we can see where that train is. It's pretty inconsistent how long this takes. Um, I think it happens in waves so that LTN doesn't just overwhelm... Yep, there we go. Doesn't, like, overwhelm your computer with too many uh, orders. So, that's our uh, flying robot frames. Uh... Low density structures and processing units are kind of in high demand at the moment. LDS is at only 1.2k here at the moment, actually. I might even need to make another one of these. I was definitely already going to make another red and blue circuit build. Um, I just need to decide where to put it. I think up here would be good because it's really close to copper, plastic, green circuits are over here. It's not a huge um, commute for the trains if we do that. So, red and blue circuits. And I might put another one here, even. What were we building down here? Oh, that's right, we need more furnaces. I think we're bottlenecked... We're already bottlenecked on copper, that's right. It may be premature to make another red circuit build. I would probably like to have it here anyway. It's also nice and close for the sulfuric acid as well. 
Um, in fact, it's an incredibly short trip for the sulfuric acid. Yeah. This is probably the best place I could put it. I'm almost tempted just to remove this one and move it up here anyway. Did we finish building this? There's like a couple of things missing. Including... Wait, what? I've got blue belt on me. Oh. I think our construction spiders may have left some bots flying around somewhere. Probably those specific bots have it in their head to build this bit, for, for example. Alright, any more purple on the map? Are we good? They don't have any bots hovering over them, no. Alright, let's bring this over here as well. And I think we'll keep going until we have four more smelters. Uh, four more Omni smelters, that is. I'm going to run out of crafting combinators, though. I don't think I put crafting combinators in this train, did I? No. Okay, how many do we need per block? 36, so I need like probably another 120. We also need a whole lot of belt. Could you come down here, please? And I think we'll just build what we can while we're here. And then head back for more stuff. We built go burr. I'm going to run out of energy for my bots at this rate. And over here as well, please. We're going to end up with a bunch of trains waiting to unload stuff where there's no inserters. still carrying those spiders and space capsules and stuff. Did we finally get all of our resources here? We're still missing rocket control units. Um, which is ultimately going to be traced back to copper, I think. Red circuits. Oh, red circuits are in motion, at least for now. Fantastic. 25k, I think we'll get another train load before this copper runs out. Probably. Um, yeah, I don't think we need this, but it'll be good to have the extra capacity in storage. Alright, I think I'll send the construction spiders back to resupply already. Let's check on our dangerous planet. 
I'm still checking on it far more often than I need to, which is good. Doesn't look like the pollution cloud is going to get much further out. Not until I ramp up the core mining, anyway. Uh, we still haven't expanded the power network. We've got a lot more of this to cover. Let's start with that. And we'll send the spiders up this way first. The more power that we produce, the less uh, the less we bottleneck on power for mining. Since I've got it set up, so the the minimum consumption for a core miner is actually zero, thankfully. So I've just got this bit of belt set up so that the accumulator has to be full. Um, for that bit of belt to move. Let's see if they're fully... Uh, full health after that. Grab some underground belts as well, thank you. Should probably put these weapon delivery capsules back in the one place where it makes any sense. Also, I meant to pick up splitters. Still healthy, fantastic. Since you're here, let's get you to go this way. This one's a bit more dangerous, I think. Let's do a little bit of zigzagging. Most important thing first is to get rid of all the worms. There we go. And since we have no defenses back at base, let's not leave this guy wandering around. Hey, Viosha Slay. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good day to you also. Not even close. And that should do it. Uh, spiders are not carrying accumulators, it seems like. Or well, they're not requesting enough of them. How full is your inventory? Not even remotely. Oh, I should check on myself. Here we go. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, so 
So why don't we bump up your request for emulators and flat solar panels. And was it this one? Yes. Shift right click, shift left click, and that should be all of them. Okay. Go pick up lots of... oh. Are they carrying cliff explosives? They should be. It doesn't seem like they are. Um... Yeah, let's remedy that real quick. Cliff explosives. Cliff explosives. And back you go. My bots are very upset with me. I'm going to switch over to the power armor that has some battery charge remaining. And I think that... Oh, there's that thing I predicted earlier. Let's grab some stack filter inserters and chests before I finish up here. There we go. Oh, I've actually run run out of chests. That was fast. Where are our construction spiders? Looks like they're fully reloaded. Let's bring them back. Uh, start with this one, please. Oh, and I need to personally go and get some uh, crafting combinators, because I don't have anything else carrying them. Alright, let's check on rows, and you should have some cliff explosives now. You are still fully healed. Three out of three meteors destroyed, fantastic. Actually, why don't you do a little dance before you go in there just to make sure everyone else is caught up. There's our cliff explosives done. Fantastic. Uh, let's let the bots catch up real quick. There we go. Maybe, considering the size of the furnaces, well, no, I was going to say, um, maybe I should have made, like, a super block for the Omni Smelters, but actually, the reason that it's shaped like this with this iteration of the design is the limit of belt input. I wonder how we're doing for stone and sand now. 
Uh, 22k, 22k, 23, 23. So not that good. 32,000 is one train load here. We're still struggling for sand and stone. Did I get my crafting combinators? Nope, forgot to turn on personal logistics. Train came back facing the wrong way. Let's fix that. Once it does a lap, it'll come back in with the inserters at the front. I really should just set this up to be symmetrical. Um, how long would it take to fix that? These are all the same. I think it's literally... Oh, okay, so it's not just changing the logistic requests. I have to mark on a constant combinator what goes into each of these cargo wagons. Yeah, at this point it's easier just to turn the train around sometimes. Uh, seems we're running low on productivity modules. Oh. The fact that I switched this over to speed modules a while ago might have something to do with that. Possibly. And tier 2. Tier 3. And then need the bots to empty out these inserted uh these chests. Oh, and the belts as well. I'll just wait till they do this part first. So we don't have to remove everything. Actually, that's probably fine. That should do it. I think there's a fast on the ground there. A speed module, that is. Yeah, there is. Alright, as soon as the bots pick all that up, um, I'm just going to hit undo a few times. I think that's it. That should do it. Okay. I've got my... Why do I not... Oh, I do have my crafting combinators. Fantastic. Let's head back down this way. Hope we don't run out of productivity modules while we're building all this stuff. Uh, considering we need five times... 36, we might. It looks like we've already placed them, so that's not going to be a problem just yet. Alright, did we finish building this block? Except for a few crafting combinators. Looks like it. It would be great if I had the tech to make my spider faster. I mean, not that this is slow, especially because I, especially considering I can click and forget. But we've got a lot of ground to cover. Still bottlenecked on copper for the red circuits, and therefore 
for the um, rocket control units. I think I will temporarily uh... Oh, we don't have a priority on this one. Okay, good. So I think I already set a higher priority over here. Yes, good. So rocket control units. Oh! They're here already. Fantastic. Uh, so... Why are there no... Because I forgot this long arm inserter. Nice, that means we're ready to start playing with this thing. Let's finish these builds real quick, and then we'll head over and do that. Okay. And I should get rid of these weapon delivery capsules in my inventory as well. I've given the Spidertrons enough uh, personal roboports that they can reach pretty much the entire rail block from the middle. So it just takes one click. Once the rail is in place, it just takes one click to build this entire thing. Uh, except for the crafting combinators that only I carry. What's this? We're still missing. Oh, did I not turn on my robo? What? I don't see any robo uh, robots in my inventory. Oh, that's because they're all building. Okay. I don't know why we didn't build these when I was over here. And we're still missing some blue undergrounds. Really? How many are we requesting? 50 for each spider, that explains it. Let's bring the supply train down here. And I'll go make sure these are built. See the recipe change as soon as the crafting combinators are placed there. Any more purple? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, we're just waiting on... I think... Oh, chests as well. I was going to say nothing but blue undergrounds, but that's not quite accurate. It does take a lot of stuff, this particular blueprint. And we are making multiple of them. Seems to be favoring... What's, what's wrong with this one? Wait, have we just built more furnaces than we can supply? That may be the case. Although, considering Popper up here, I saw, was going quite fast. Uh, was quite full earlier, I should say. Okay. Where's our train? Not that one. Where's our other train? Now it's arriving. I guess I should already send the construction spiders back to resupply. And I'll take some chests, please. And... Blue undergrounds. And we'll see what else. Stack inserters. And 
And I think that just leaves... I was going to say belt, but this stack insert is missing as well. Come on. There we go. There you go. This is going to be imbalanced. Maybe I should fix it. Even distribution is a pretty good mod. Cool. We're missing something here still. A chest. Which I have. Okay, that was weird. Anything else down here? Fantastic. Oh, a media just tried to land on my new smelting row. Luckily, we shut it down. Fantastic. I think that's everything. Let's send you back home. And don't forget to change this back to 50. And I just realized I didn't put all those back where they belong. It's fine. I could place it here in the meantime. Have you thought about covering everything in concrete? Don't really need to. Um, we've got spiders and trains to get around. Not to mention jetpack. It does take an awful lot of concrete to accomplish that. Oh, we've actually run out of... ...coal here. I'll just drop off what I can in this place on the way to playing with the weapons delivery cannon. I envy your snow biome. I'm in the ugly desert. Oh no. Yeah, there's a lot of snow on this particular version of Nalvis. It's not great at the stage of the game when you're still on foot, but other than that, it's fine. Let's do a little bit more on this planet. See how healthy they are after that. And construction spiders. Do you think? Oh. Are we actually full? Over here. No? Core Fragment Vita Melange. We are sending a signal for Core Fragment Vita Melange. We're having power issues. Uh oh. Um. Why are we having power issues? Is it because this thing started charging? Doesn't look like it. Uh, is it because of all the smelting? Uh, now we're doing fine. Wait, is it on a different network, or is it just morning now? Uh, where is our... Yeah, it's just morning, I think. Okay. 
I think we need another nuclear plant. Perhaps. Actually, I kind of want to... I want to make sure that's as close as possible. How many tiles is this? One, two, three, four. Oh wait, I set this one up a bit different. Because it apparently needed more water. That's weird. Pretty sure I ratioed this properly before. There seems to be plenty of water. Although this is during the day when we don't need the nuclear power as much. It's only been the last few days that we've been using the accumulators at night, really. Um, so yeah... Okay. Well, I don't... I don't want to put off playing with our new toy that much longer, though. Let me just empty my inventory of all this stuff. Uh, maybe the five million beaconed up furnaces? Maybe. Accumulator, industrial furnace. Over the last hour, it hasn't actually changed that much. Okay, where's industrial fur? Okay, yeah, five and a half hours ago it increased significantly. That's not when I built these. It may have been when I stopped some of them from being stuck, maybe? No, they would have been smelting other resources. Hmm. Mr. Solo Dolo? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I really want to buy this game, but it seems so complicated. Uh, the version that you're seeing is modded, and it's more complicated than the uh, the base game. But the base game does do a pretty good job, in my opinion, of introducing uh, introducing things piece by piece. It's not actually that hard to learn. My bots have run out of energy again. I may as well switch back to this one. Okay, let's get out of here. So, I do want to put another nuclear plant down this way. I'll leave a bit of extra room just in case. It does turn out that I should have more pumps here. We need to... I do have the regular construction spiders carrying landfill, but it's not a whole lot. I don't remember if we're supplying landfill here automatically. Maybe we should. Or I could just go and deliver a... Yeah, we are, actually. Except I don't see it in the robo-network here. I don't think we've got somewhere for the small trains to pick up landfill. Except they can pick it up from here, actually. So... Oh, is this it? Nope, that's ammo. Also, it's not a sin to look up some... Common ratios? Yeah, for sure. Oh, and the game does have a demo. You'll actually get a few hours or so of play out of that, so it's more than enough to tell if that if this game is for you. 
All right, let's, um, well, for one thing, let's put our weapon delivery cannon. Don't tell me I'm not carrying any long-handed inserters. Oh, that's tragic. Construction spiders should have plenty, though. Let's bring them over here. Now, once this is here, is it going to start charging? And how how severe is that going to be? Looks like we need a target. So let's go to rows. Um, do not shoot our own base. And let's find a big juicy base right here. I don't know how big the area is going to be. Let's do one that's not surrounded by trees. How about this? I don't know how much area this is going to have. Um, delivery coordinates. Okay, it seems to work just like delivery cannon. So let's just turn it on and off real quick. Not bad. It's... A bit better than an artillery shell. Absolutely. And let's have a look at how much power it consumes. Um, so it doesn't actually need... It only needs uh, 5 gigajoules. 5.5 gigajoules to... Uh, to send this to this planet. Nice. Okay. What if we turn on automatic retargeting? Wait, does that just mean... Does that just mean it's going to shoot the same spot again, or... Let's, let's give it a specific target before it fires. Automatic retargeting. Turn this on. Oh, hello. I just saw the target change. Yeah. It seems to... It, it seems shockingly arbitrary where it's going to fire, but... It will gradually... <laughs> Very gra gradually. I think we need to build a few more of these. Also, let's look at just how much power that's been consuming. Uh, weapon delivery cannon. Four hundred and fifty-nine megajoules. I think compared to everything else, it is pretty minimal. It's very random because you explored all the surface, I see. Alright. Uh, I th think it's going to be a worthy investment to just build as many of these as we can. Hey, Christoph King. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so let's see. Our beryllium is here. And let's just feed it to this thing. Request a chest. And... I'll pick them up manually. To... Bed there? To BD? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. Uh, where am I? Here we go. What do we need? Heat shielding. Fantastic. We s we still have heavy girders. 
Oh yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be difficult to uh, run out of aeroframe poles as opposed to anything else to build these things. Okay. Maybe I should... Come to think of it... Oh, you're surprisingly damaged. That's scary. Um, come to think of it, will the cannons shooting things randomly cause the biters to attack the main base? Um, that might be a problem. It is going to take a lot to clear out a planet of this size. It would have been a lot more effective if I had it ready as we were exploring. You're not going to get through there. There we go. Right then. Heat shielding is not getting here fast enough. Wait, how much heat shielding do we have here? I don't remember. Oh, that is... Very out of date. Uh, why don't we bring some in from the rail network again? Also, I apparently left the LDS request there, so who knows how much LDS has been brought to the main bus base uh, that we didn't need, at least for a while. 37,000. That's quite a lot. How much, uh, we've still got 69,000 used up uranium fuel cells. I can't remember if we had more or less of that before. Oh, here's a random spider. That's a lot of spiders. How did we end up with 14 spiders sitting in a random, uh, storage chest? They should all be here. That one's full as well. Excess of LDS? Well, that's a luxury problem, if anything. Absolutely. Alex Hudson? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, I should be concentrating on getting that next nuclear plant built because we do not want to run out of power. Maybe I should get... How much is this? 5.8k. Um, what am I looking for? Landfill. Let's go. I think I should have the red spider carry landfill for now. Excess spiders nice? Yeah, definitely. I I just... The only thing I don't like about this is I have no idea how I got them. I mean, they shouldn't have even ended up in the logistic network, apart from this being a green chest in the first place. I didn't limit spiders, but... I guess 40 is enough. Right, let's get our landfill 
to be given to the bots? Oh, turn off your logistics for a sec. In fact, change this to zero. And turn on your logistics. And the bots should be building this out for us now. I should probably make some dedicated spiders just for filling out landfill, actually. How much landfill can a spider carry? Uh, we got 10 by 8. 8,000? I think that's right. Did you drop all of your... almost. And I would like to drop all of mine as well. Oh, and you are bringing landfill. So I didn't even have to... But... Shit. Oh. I am of suboptimal intelligence. It's been a while since I looked at this build, but... We've got something here set up to get rid of everything that's not supposed to be in this logistic network. And I kinda sorta... Only had a request for a hundred landfill. So as much as the bots are building this, um, this system is here to take it away. I think we'll just go ahead and set up those landfill spiders. Um, because it's going to be a lot more effective having them place it anyway. Summon spiders to your back pocket whenever you wish. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm actually carrying a few right now. So, I think the landfill spiders will just have... Uh, one portable RTG. Actually, it's probably going to be the same as construction spiders. I was thinking about... Where did I send them? I was thinking about not having... Um, uh... Not having quite as many personal roboports so that the bots don't fly as far so that they do the job quicker. But I think I would rather have them just have lots of range and uh, that way... That way I can do more of a fire and forget kind of thing. So let's give them one of these... Eight of these, and six of these. And normally I wouldn't have default brown, but it's pretty... maybe a bit darker. What is the color of landfill? I think this is pretty close. The shaded part, anyway. Green is already taken. That's the military spiders. Missing personal robot port. Okay. Uh, why don't I steal my own personal robot ports? And then. What was it? 8,000? Landfill? And nothing else. I'm going to need a remote for them as well. I didn't actually make an extra one that I'm not using, did I? Doesn't seem like it. Um, to make a Spidertron remote... I can save a whole lot of time by picking up 
a rocket control unit. There we go. And you can be the leader. Fantastic. Of course, it will speed things up quite a bit if I shove landfill into them myself. All right, you good? Yes, yes, and yes. Fantastic. Uh, minor detail, they will need construction parts. I could give them 200, but honestly, that's just going to drain the battery in record time. Let's make it um, two stacks. Also, I should probably make this um, where the landfill goes. And construction, but one hundred. All right. So that's actually enough uh, landfill in one place to make four of these nuclear reactors, or the landfill for it, at a time. And that ain't bad. I think we've already got the logistics set up to supply everything else um, required to build out a nuclear reactor here. So that'll get done. Although I think I should probably... I haven't figured out a way to set it up automatically in the first place, but... Oh, this is the old design. Huh. This is the old design, this is the new one. Yeah. I haven't actually figured out a way to set it up so that... Basically the whole thing has to be built before we insert anything. I suppose I could have a combinator that pretend, a constant combinator that pretends we've got an amount of steam already and you'd have to switch it off or remove it to complete the build. The only thing that relies on is the combinator getting placed, or the constant combinator getting placed before all of this, which is not a stretch. All right, you guys got your construction bots. Fan. Fantastic question mark. Yeah, have some of mine. All right, let's send you down here. And get you building some nuclear power plants. In fact, I see absolutely no harm in adding another one of these. We do have them set up to do power management so it doesn't waste fuel. Is that four? That's five. Close enough. Could have two blueprints, one with logistic chests and one without, that's true. Although I'd prefer to have just the one. 
Hmm. I could have. I could just add a couple of storage chests here with a filter of landfill, and we could set a request of enough to make an entire steam turbine. I mean, steam turbine. Another nuclear plant. Here's our spiders arriving. That reminds me, um, we're all good here, it seems like. Does it tell me how many kills this thing has? It does not. I am a little bit concerned that with one of these targeting things arbitrarily, if it if it's switching target every time, then I guess what we're going to see a lot of the time is things get damaged and then we go and target something else entirely and don't finish the job. But considering that everything, every time this fires, we can probably expect at least a couple of biter spawners to be removed. Uh... That's definitely not bad. Speaking of which, we should definitely add some more of those. How many did we get? We actually did consume all the beryllium plate. I probably should have saved some. This is... 12 more of these things, though. Um, that is perhaps a little bit more than I was expecting. We can easily fit 13 here, I think. Well, very easily, actually. I don't know at what point we would need more of these machines to keep up. The trouble is we really can't... Can we rate calculate this? One of these every 20 seconds. And this can make a little bit more than that. It's actually like one to one, but we can easily manage that, I think. How about we remove you for now? Unless you're already about to fire. Yeah, I'll let this one fire first. I'm curious to see how many of these worms die from this one shot. On the very edge of the map, it's the place that matters at least. All except for this one, and that one's half dead, not bad. Okay. Um. So what was the rate from this? We need 0 0.05 to keep up with one of those cannons. Oh, and um, we also need explosives. It would have worked better if explosives was on this belt. It's fine. We could just do an underground here. Uh, we need a splitter, actually. And... like so. Output goes here. And then... We need those two belts as well for input for these. How far does this go? That's only nine. Um, let's see. I 
do the two input belts down the middle here. That's 13. Uh, I should have left room for substations. Let's put one... that's not good. Let's put one here. And we can extend this bit indefinitely until it keeps up. Um, add another medium pole down here. I don't suppose that's going to tile very well. Let's just do it like this. Uh, I don't want the uh, power poles to be like sticking through the cannons if I can help it. Let's see. Do it like this. And like this. And so on. Like so. There isn't really a consistent pattern I can follow to avoid that unless I use medium poles. Does I don't think there's a consistent pattern with those that looks good either. Maybe like this. I think that's going to have to be it. And where does this reach? Not like that. That's going to look horrible no matter what. Alright, fine. Oh, but that doesn't even power these ones. There we go. And uh, input goes here. Six and seven. And of course those are going to need power as well. Why don't I put a big pole here? Whoops. Why are the bots not replacing that bit of belt? Oh, they put it somewhere else. <laughs> okay. Can we perhaps move that bit of wire that looks really bad? That actually reaches perfectly. Okay, where are my construction spiders? 
Oh, they built this already. Fantastic. Except for a few belts, which is what we need. Rip. I guess I'll go back and get some. In the meantime, um, we can set the recipes for these. How's our landfill coming? It's basically already finished. Let's continue. They kind of naturally slowly move along while they do this as well. Okay, but more importantly, the entire thing can fit easily in RoboPort range. Nice. Let's drop our blueprint right here. And I'll remove these inserters until we're ready. Where am I? Uh, I don't need that much landfill in my inventory right now. I'm just glad the ammo for this doesn't require a beryllium plate or derivative from it. It's going to be a little while before we get that. They've... I was going to say they've already finished, but actually they've run out. Oh, they've run out of energy. Okay. Well, we'll leave them to it for a little while then. That might take some time. As the other bots build our power system out. Here is the world's smallest spider zoo. I'll leave them there. Um... Still an awful lot of red on the map. Let's get you guys to continue building this. And how many solar panels do we have left? I see nothing. And only 194 accumulators. Full. Although you're still carrying quite a lot. Uh, so, let's add some more down this way. That was nice and quick. And once you've placed this stuff, I'll get you to move on. Hey, Sifika. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And how was your stream today? Welcome, raiders. Okay. Um, it does occur to me that I still haven't gotten around to building a... Uh, a rail block to deal with Vitamelange core fragments. I would like to build it relatively close to this block here, but we're kind of out of space. I could do a bit of landfill, I suppose. We've already used up these blocks, though. Um, I think here is going to be the place. I'll move this stuff out of the way for now. That was just some 
ratio comparisons and stuff for the prerequisites for green science. Oh, and we don't want to forget to finish this build, do we? That's kind of a big deal. A hey, Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, do we have a traffic jam? No, it doesn't look like it. Just trains shoving through in arbitrary order. Does that coal mine still just go to the main bus base? There's only 1.7 million. I won't worry about it for now. How are spiders doing? Still clearing the planet? Uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit of a daunting task, uh, which is why I've set up as many of these uh, weapon delivery systems that I was able to make with the beryllium that we got from Nalvis Orbit. At least see how much is left, yes. What is your current research and science situation? Uh, we have... Oh, I just realized. Um, so we have a main bus base in orbit, which does all of the tier one uh, space sciences, except we don't have any um, bioscience for now because we're stuck on Vidim Lunge. Uh, come to think of it, Why is there 134 bio sludge? Did this never work? Products finished 429. I think we did empty all of the bio sludge. Literally all of it from this network down to here, and it's all been eaten up. So I don't know if the state of these machines here is that uh, the loop will continue and there'll be enough bio sludge uh, once we get Vidamelange in here. Products finished to zero. It's it's just Vidamelange extract we're missing, so we that's why the loop never started. Um, but yeah, basically we've got all of the tier one uh, space science is finished up there. Um, we did just get our first Vitamelange core fragments. I haven't actually built a block to take advantage of that yet, but it's going to be pretty much a copy paste job. We're going to put it here, I think. We currently have. Uh, 51,000 Vidal Melange core fragments. We should probably get on that, right? Uh, we bottlenecking on explosives now? Looks like it. Okay. Oh, and this would help as well. Get that out of my inventory, please. Also, that bit of belt right there needs to go. And let's get some power for these inserters as well. Why isn't that connected? There we go. Right then. That should be well and truly enough to bottleneck the loading system that we built here for just one of these things. But I don't really mind too much if this thing's going to be a bit bursty. Uh, this one's already got four shots ready. Alright. Let's aim this at... Rose, automatic targeting, on, and I think we have to select a target for the first one. 
So let's do that. That's not going to get much value. How about here? And away it goes. Now, if I copy-paste those settings... I hope we didn't just send a million shells at the exact same spot. Um, I don't think we did. They wouldn't be half damaged. They would be all dead or nothing. So yeah, this is now going to... Now this one's about to shoot something that's already dead. Let's not do that. But yeah, this whole thing will now automatically clear out the uh, biter bases on rows. It might be expensive and it might take a while, but I don't have to do anything except make sure that I check on the base every once in a while and make sure the biters aren't attacking it, I guess. I don't suppose uh, biters left orphaned without a base can come together and make an expansion. Well, I, the expansion would get destroyed anyway, but... Um, but they might end up attacking the main base. I don't know. What was next on our to-do list? We've got our... Nuclear power is having trouble getting built because this doesn't have power. Um, do they have big poles here? If they don't, they probably should. Yeah, let's get some big electric poles. That's the LTN request. I also need to... I think I also need to add it to like a whitelist somewhere, or maybe this works by... Oh, here it is. Big electric pole. Make it 50. Otherwise it would end up in this request a chest here to get taken away again. Uh, but yeah, I need the big poles because... Oh. Maybe if I had put that close enough together, it would have reached? Doesn't seem like it. That's not going to reach. Let's put this down here. And one of these here as well. Landfill spiders are still doing their thing. The bots are very, very upset. Okay. How far along are you? Uh, hard to say, but... I mean, things are accelerating, but there's still a lot to do. Speaking of things to do, I do not want to forget for another minute that we want to make a block for dealing with Vitamelange core fragments. So let's do that now. We should probably also finish this build here, not that we need it yet. We did get our flying robot frames and LDS delivered. Oh, is this it? Hey, just in time to see the first... Well, is it the first? Yeah, this will be the first uh, blue science delivered to this... Uh, sorry, blue circuits delivered to yellow science rail block. I uh, can't wait to confirm if... The throughput with the belts is fine. I'm pretty sure it is. Before that happens, I need to make sure we don't get... What the hell? 
Uh, well, let's just remove the stations for now. Make sure we don't get accidental incorrect LTN deliveries before we're ready. And here we go. Should be... Uh, the way I calculated it, even if these were on yellow belts, this part should be no trouble at all um, for one of the input belts. Well, actually, if this was a half belt, yellow belt would be slightly too slow. The whole thing just requires uh, only 20 flying robot frames per second and less than two blue belts of the other resources. Oh. This only uses three belts of input here. Uh, 45... 90 plus 45... No, it's more like 45 plus 22.5. 67.5. That is just enough. And then some. So we should be seeing every... Th there's a few inserters missing. Rip. Let's go place those. I'm pretty sure I'm carrying six. Why am I only carrying six blue inserters? There should be a whole lot of blue inserters in here. Here we go. Let's bring that train over here. And once it gets here, we'll finish the job. Uh, but yeah, looks like yellow science is a success. We've already got 1.4k. There's our constructotrons arriving at the scene. Let's set this to Vitamelange core fragments. This part should be universal, yes. And we need to set the recipe here to core fragment processing vitamelange. Same as the other resources that we break down like this. We get regular core fragments and some stone. As well as the vitamelange that we're actually looking for. Are those all set properly? Yeah. And then we just have to... Ch whoops. Where's that train? Not here yet. Here it comes. I'll fix this first. There we go. Uh, bit of my large core fragment goes here. We need to change the filter to a bit of melange. And that should be that. Also change the name here. Bit of melange provider. This one is high priority because we need to get these um, we need to make sure this is emptied as much as possible. Otherwise, the thing that we're actually after will get blocked. Seems I need to get the construction spiders to go back for more pulverizers. How many is this? Uh, 90. How many are they requesting? Probably five. Five times like eight or something. Maybe I should make a few more construction spiders. That would probably help a few things. Especially with uh, some of these big builds that we're making. They didn't run out of belt, did they? They did. Let's send them back for some more stuff. 
most things that we regular pi regularly pick up have automated here. Not everything, though. Uh, including pulverizers, so let's bring him back to the old base. Is anything else missing from here? Doesn't appear to be the case. And I think we'll have our train come with us up here. And we'll finish building what we can. How many of these do I have on me? Zero. Perfect. May as well handcraft a few. They're quite slow, though. Oh, also... I think we have the efficiency modules here because we had to limit... After we built this, um... Yeah, we had to ratio it based on the belts. Also, that needs to have its recipe changed. There we go. That should do it. Fantastic. Uh, there's a little bit of stuff up here that hasn't been placed yet. Just some belt, actually. Let's pick some up here. I think we may be missing nothing but belt over here as well. So let's get that done on the same trip. And you can go back now. And it's going the right way. Fantastic. Why are the bots not Probably there's a bot trailing. Oh boy. There it is. There's our gang of um, lost construction bots chasing the uh, construction spider-trons. Gonna have to get them to pick them up after this. And because some of those are reserved to build these things... It's not going to happen here automatically until oh, they come back. Which is a bit of a pain. Just a little. Why is this not powered? Wait, seriously, why is this not powered? Substation is there. I copy-pasted it from uh, this one, I think. It should be the exact same size. It is. So why... Oh, is it the number of connections? Yeah. Let's just do this. That looks terrible. I'll live. Maybe try to add wire manually? Uh, let's see. My suspicion was, if I try to add it to here, yeah, max of five connections. Can we add this up here? What? Oh. I don't think there's a way to make this symmetrical. Does this reach across? Oh, that's already connected. Okay. 
get rid of this one. Um, don't really need that connection, do we? That doesn't reach. So yes, we do. And we need that. Okay, that's better. Where are our construction spiders? Let's get them to pick up their bots. We're going to have to do this twice. I don't know where the other bots went. They were here somewhere. I don't think they all got up there that quickly. Did they? I'm not sure. Alright, let's head up here with our blue belt. Uh, construction spidertrons hopefully have all of their... Wait, up oh, there they are. Sneaky bots. I wish you could use the debug thing to show from off screen where the bots are trying to go. But just like with the thing you've got selected or your player character or something. Look at him go. And look at my bots go. Fantastic. Help. Are our red circuits doing now? It seems like... Okay, there's not a whole lot of copper here, so I don't think that's happening consistently yet. Plenty of blue belt still. Okay. The whole thing is going to be bottlenecked. Like, these these two whole blocks are going to be bottlenecked on the same resource in the short term. But the positioning is too good to not use this block for this. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Uh... I do like having all this capacity and storage for red and blue circuits before we need it. Now, construction spiders finally have their bots. Let's get them to finish this build, perhaps. I'll place this here and edit the combinators as soon as possible. Oh. Whoops. Glad I was copy-pasting all that. What is our new planet doing? I don't think we've had any biter attacks. I mean, they would have been chewing away at this stuff. They would have destroyed quite a few things by now. Uh, I understand why, because mods and all that, but... I, it does make me a little bit sad that we can't see how many kills these things have, but I guess products finished is a pretty good approximation. Weapon delivery capsule iridium pile driver. Final driver. We've made 260 all time. All of those in the last hour, actually. That doesn't sound right. I could have sworn I fired one or two a while ago before that. 
We're looking at about four per minute. That is not bad. Let's get our logistics sorted. And time for the construction spiders to arrive. Switch this off, switch this off. And now we can edit it at our leisure without an incorrect train coming. Core fragment of Vitima lunch. Uh, 32k. Alright then. There we go. And then turn these back on. And we should see a train coming to pick up our core fragments from here quite soon. That little battery symbol concerns me. Okay, power is really not looking good again. Uh, we've had no accumulator activity a few nights ago, or last night, or the night before. Now that we're using a lot of these cannons, that probably has something to do with it. Um, actually, I think I'll set them to... Just like the core mining, uh, we'll set it to not consume power unless we've got full accumulator charge. That might be a good idea. Seems we're bottlenecking on the half belt of... That's not even half a belt. Heavy girders. If I'd known I was going to build it this big, I definitely wouldn't have used this particular train station design. It's fine for now. Um... So what I might do is just put an accumulator here. Connect all of this stuff together. And the condition is basically the accumulator has to be full. For us to put in one of these resources. Actually, let's place the other one first. That one's right in the middle. And copy, paste. There we go. So we're only going to use this stuff when we've got energy to spare, which is going to be a little while, it seems like. Did we not request accumulators or storage tanks here? We did not. Let's add storage tanks and accumulators. And I don't know if this is actually... It's not a direct copy of it, so I'd better do this part manually. There we go. So sooner or later we're going to have some accumulators delivered here. Not to mention the storage tanks. I could probably do it quite a lot faster by sending the construction spiders though. 
There's our Vita Melange. Four fragments, that is. And there is our Vita Melange. Fantastic. That will soon go into this block here. Uh, that gives us all of the Vitamin Lunch products, nuggets, uh, roast, spice, and extract. Uh, we're putting all of those into the rail network because this is my first uh, playthrough of space exploration and I don't know which of those we'll actually need directly. Maybe it would be better if the nuggets could be fed. Like if, if Rail was delivering the nuggets to the part that uses them, but no, I, I think this is fine. This is a lot less uh, trouble for the trains. All right, our accumulator charge is greater than zero during the day, but it is not climbing anywhere near as fast as it needs to. We finally got the landfill done. Oh, there's no, there's no requester chests here. Really? That seems like an obvious one. Okay, let's get the construction spiders over there. I don't know if I intended to be able to have this entire thing be able to extend itself just from these logistic requests, or if it was just supposed to be most of it, but this does surprise me a little bit. What else are we missing here? Solar panels don't really care. Purple and blue chests. And that's basically it. The solar panels are literally just the first time you're building a thing like this, it's got a little bit of power to make sure it charges the robo-parts and stuff. Um... I'm running out of room on this combinator, but I can always add more. Okay, blue chests and purple chests. Blue chests. Oops. And purple chests. And you can tell just by looking at it that this was all planned properly the first time. Okay. We're not going to wait for the logistic system to uh, supply it all, though. Get the construction spiders to finish the job. How's our Vitamelange production going? We've got 13k available here. There's a train coming to pick it up. Only 8,000 is a train load. Which means by the time the train picks this up, there's probably... It's getting close to having another train available. Yeah, the trains are actually barely keeping up. Fantastic. And that also means we're getting more regular core fragments. And stone, which means we're getting more of everything. Uh, iron, copper, coal, stone, a vanishingly small amount of uranium, a little bit of vulcanite, and an insignificant amount of crude oil. I think... I was going to say these should be stack inserters, but yeah, I've, I've really, really bottlenecked this on the belts because I didn't intend to build this this big. 
it's okay for now. I'll refactor it another time. How's our nuclear power going? Where are our spiders? Taking their sweet time. And I think they've got some logistic bots following them. Yeah, that's not their bots. That's okay. So you could clear out a whole planet with this, but it's going to take a lot. I think... Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's better to do it with spiders, but... It's definitely saving some resources to put them into it as well. Meanwhile, power on this planet is looking excellent, actually. Uh, 177... Uh, we can... Wait, what? Oh. We can fit seven more coal mining drills. We need a little bit more solar power to get our target of nine. Um, powered consistently, I think. We do still have some solar that we haven't placed being carried by the construction spiders. So let's get them to do their thing. Hey, fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think your new cannons are power hungry. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> um, although, even when I switched them off, uh, the rate at which we were gaining accumulated charge was really slow. Uh, did we finish this build? I think so. This is actually a really good opportunity to update this blueprint a little bit. I want to go there personally for a second. And you guys can go and resupply, I think. I wonder if that little tiny blip of island is going to be in the way of something I want to build. Also, I should probably spend some time making uh, the next size of nuclear reactor. I forget where you can look it up, but... Um, you can get the ratios for how many uh, how many heat exchangers and turbines you should have for how many nuclear reactors. The heat exchangers and turbines is seven to eleven. Um, oh, sorry, seven to twelve. But it's hard to know, just looking at the game, how many nuclear reactors you should have. Anyway, here is our opportunity to... Let me just remove the request to chests first. I might even... I don't really want to remove this RoboPort. Let's remove that one. Okay, so we're not going to get anything that we didn't ask for sent here while we're not ready. Let's copy this part and place what we've got here. And the condition on these is steam has to be less than 2,500. So all we have to do... Where should I put it? I think here is good. All we have to do to make it so that the default 
uh, when we build the nuclear reactor is to not start loading this stuff. Assuming that the... Um, ass assuming that this constant combinator gets built in due time, uh, we're going to have to remove this constant combinator or switch it off in order to allow uh, the bots, well not the bots to load into the blue chests, but rather the inserters to do their thing. So, let's update our blueprint, select new contents with one constant combinator. And next time I can copy paste this thing and relax that we're not going to get the fuel consumption all out of sync before we're ready. What the? What? Huh? What? Steam less than 2,500 condensing stick. God damn it. Okay. Let's fix this. Steam 2500. Whoops. It's fine. Totally fine. I did just update it, didn't I? Let's just double check. This goes here. And this says Steam 2500, Steam 2500, okay, cool. Fantastic. And check they're all connected to the same constant combinator. Good. I was about to ask if you also made some combinators to limit usage of fuel and not burn it all the time. Yes. Uh, basically, between the storage tanks and accumulators, um, and the amount of heat that the heat pipes can store, which they will store indefinitely, um, it's pretty hard to accidentally waste fuel when you first uh, get this thing started. Um, but yeah, why are... Why is there no nuclear fuel here? Don't tell me we're low on nuclear fuel as well. That could be really bad. Um, I do not see any nuclear fuel. That is concerning. If that's the case, we should probably start adding a lot of solar panels. It might be a good idea to upgrade these ones, actually. Um, I still haven't gotten around to setting up something taking advantage of the main bus orbital base. Uh, where are our rough data storage substrates? Rough data storage substrate. It's not because Scrap is over full again. We're missing iron plate. Please don't tell me the trains are stuck. Okay, they're not. This one is. Really? And I did set the provide stack threshold to 300. <sighs> okay. I really thought it was fixed this time. But just one of those trains being stuck shouldn't, uh, shouldn't be the issue. And it is just one of them. How uneven are our... Well, I think the iron plate has been flowing for quite a while since this thing happened. So it's... We can't really get any more information about that. 
I just made Combinator Logic today, which feeds reactors just what they need, just the fuel they need. Fantastic. I needed it for my ships because they don't use 100% of generated power. If you explore just enough to cover the pollution cloud, the cannons would take care of biter expansions. Um, yes, but we already explored the planet, and I don't know if trimming what we've got explored will prevent the biters from uh, expanding or not. Also, why was that area just revealed? Did we just shoot at it? The biter nests regenerate, so I would think so. Oh, that's right. I did set this thing so that... Okay, we almost mostly got through the night last night without power issues. Um, here's hoping that power limiting this stuff uh, is going to be the difference. Judging by how far we are into the night without massive accumulator usage, uh, I think we're doing a bit better. But I am worried about the rate of production of... Nope, we've got, we've got tons of uranium fuel cells. Okay. Is it just... The way... Oh, we're delivering 50 right now. I wonder if I need to improve something in... How we're request... We should probably request more than 50 uranium fuel cells for this block. Um, let's make it like... 500. Now that we've got such a... Scale for them. Yeah, that'll be fine. Alright. So we're not at all suffering from a fuel shortage for nuclear reactors. Excellent. So we could probably just copy-paste this one more time. And once that's built... That should be the end of our power troubles for quite a while. Nice. Now if only I could say the same for these loaders. I wonder how I could even test this. Um, I suppose if I use the super editor uh, the editor extensions mod, and I've run the game as fast as possible with nothing but basically this and a couple of things for testing. Um, maybe I could get some hints as to how this happens like 1% of the time. Even after I changed it to have the same settings as copper and stone brick, which has stopped uh, having this problem. Oh, maybe it just occurred to me that maybe it was still imbalanced after breaking a previous time. I, maybe if I'd done an even distribution after last time I fixed it, this wouldn't have happened. What's with the empty section in your nuclear setup? Uh, what do you mean? Just the gaps in the middle with the water? It's just a consequence of the shape of it that I came up with. Because we need two tiles here for input and output for this uh, nuclear reactor. The turbines. Oh, uh, I just... A wanted to put these substations in the middle, and B decided to put in sub You mean this part, don't you? 
There must have been a... What? There must have been a bit of landfill missing or something. And we ended up copying that gap as well. I think there's supposed to be pipe here as well. Yeah, I'm sure of it. So let's copy that here. And I'm only 97% sure that this is now correct. Hopefully that is the last we'll see of that. Look at them go. Why are these ones inactive? You've got water, you've got heat. Okay, you've barely got heat. This one has a bit more, but still. Pumping speed, 384 per second. These two are pretty slow as well. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's the change in that design. Instead of having like the four pumps here, we've got them in the middle. That's good. That means I didn't miss something when I was building these ones. There was missing landfill at the time, yes. Right. Um, I don't think we have constant combinators included in the requests for that area, actually. So, that's another flaw in my plan here. I don't know how I could set it up like that without a combinator. Yeah, don't know about that one. Alright. Let's move on, shall we? Uh, I think we completely finished with the Vidamelange core fragment processing. You know what? These builds are idle quite a lot. Cryonite is idle because it's completely saturated. That's nice. Uh, Holmanite is looking pretty good. Okay, I take back what I said about these being idle. We're getting a little bit of uranium out of all of these core fragments. Vulcanite is asleep. Uh, erudite is asleep. I think this would be really difficult to do right, but because there's so much idle time between these, um, I wonder how feasible it would be to have a system, basically an omni pulverizer system. Um, have a train deliver the core fragments detect which core fragments we're going to be processing, switch the recipe, have the trains remove all of the output. The time it would take on the belts and stuff would be a problem. Maybe. Or you could just do like what we do here with all of the outputs having their own separate stations. Yeah. I think 
like I'm getting ideas. Especially because it's especially because so many of these are basically the same but with one resource different. Basically, we would just need um, the filters here to have, well, this one's an exception because of the rate ratios. Uh, the filters here would have to have like stone and uh, core fragments go off on their merry way and everything else goes to a whole other filter system. Doing it with belts. The amount of space it would take to do the filtering would add up quickly, as it does with the outputs of multi-smelting. Um, I guess it would make a lot of sense to use bots, but bots die gratuitously in uh, space exploration. All right, I'll wait till that one is finished before I mark that constant combinator for deconstruction. And that should be the end of our power issues for quite some time to come. Let's continue building. And laser inviters. It's going to take quite a while before we can really see an impact on the biter population, you may think. Oh, no, don't lose track of them. There we go. Oh, this has just been attacked. That helps. I guess we don't really want the spiders to be close to the nests for too long. Who knows when a pile driver could arrive. Would have been very, very useful um, with the second to last planet that we made a new uh, outpost on. Uh, Lothar. You can't see the whole thing now, but there were very few biter bases, but they were scattered around the entire planet. Um, having them automatically destroyed by the system would have been fantastic. Hello, Mind Mousecraft. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. of the world's theme plays. Maybe I should add that as a sound bite. Uh, we're a bit stuck. There we go. Let's continue. I suppose it might make sense to leave one of those mass drivers aimed at each planet that has biter medias as well, just in case one of them gets through the defenses. But I think it's probably better to just make sure there's more than enough uh, media defenses. Let's back off a bit. Hmm. 
Now we're getting into the big bases that are a bit more involved to clear out safely. Mostly it just comes down to circling around the edge and using the same tactics as before otherwise. It's all about bringing power to a point and keeping the biters from doing the same. Let's get this one out of the way. And then... I think one of them took some actual damage. Not sure. Yeah, they did. Alright, let's get that scratch on your paint fixed up. Uh, but you can probably plow through a couple of easy bases on the way back. Construction spiders, do you think? Front one's not going to get too far ahead, is it? No, we're fine. And how many solar panels have you got left? I see accumulators, but I don't see... There's a few solar panels. Let's go this way. When we trim, all of this is going to be included because of the oil anyway. Down this way, I think. That's probably going to be the last that we can do without leaving some ghosts. Oh. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's fix that first. I guess we have to remove one more accumulator. Also, why is this one... Can I move this over? Yes, good. Alright. Spiders are still looking okay. And what are we doing? What are we doing? Should see if we're still bottlenecked on copper. We absolutely are. Can we get more copper coming in? We've got 6.6 .6 million here. Maybe we could speed it up. We're already using a relatively dense speed moduled big mining drills. We could add like a couple, but that's not really going to do anything. Um... Is there anywhere else we can get a temporary boost of copper? 7.8 million right here. We do need to take some territory, but with the spiders that we have, I don't think that is going to be a problem. Uh, this one is not that great. Same goes for this one. I'll probably get those off stream. And same goes for that one as well. 
We could take that sweet, sweet uranium. I completely forgot that I was clearing out this area, partly for that purpose. But the expansions just keep coming. I guess it would make a lot of sense to do a vertical wall here. Then we can do a horizontal here. And one up here. That gives us a 9.3 million copper as well. It's been a while since I built a wall expansion. It's going to be a lot easier with the construction spiders, I should think. And the military spiders to defend them. Yeah, I don't really feel like clearing this area out right now. Hi, is this Nelvis? Yes, indeed. D64, D64. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so. I think I need to change the requests on the construction spiders a little bit. Uh, are they actually requesting military things at all? I don't think they are. Let's just make sure we leave room for this page. So we can keep things organized. Hopefully research won't add too much. Okay, now military things. Uh, obviously no med pack. Oh, have I not made the Tesla gun yet? What does that need? I needed to do that in orbit, didn't I? It's just holmium, iron stream, and plastic. That's pretty easy. What about the ammo? I think I can manufacture that here. Literally just battery and holmium plate. Um, I could set up... Oh. Uh, I kind of forgot to stop asking for heat shielding. And we've now got 67,000 in the network here. That's fine. That is totally fine. My spider only has one shield. I think I should temporarily change that. And I'll put a bunch of lasers in my inventory. Or power armor, rather. Oh, that's all the lasers I have. For these little bases, this will be a bit more economical than bringing the spiders with rockets. Don't believe there's a giant pile of spiders there right now. Uh, construction spiders, that's right, I was going to set them to carry military things. Let's take a little... Uh, I think I can get this part unsupervised, no problem. Oh. That might be a bit more of a problem. There we go. I may have bit off more than I can chew. I think we'll be okay. My battery charge is draining pretty quickly. I think I've got enough, though. Yeah. Let's swap these out so I have at least one RTG. Okay. And 
What were we doing here? That's right, I got a little bit distracted at the thought of the Tesla gun. Just need to bring this down so that I can make the requests for laser turrets and walls and such in the right spot. Um, I need to, oops, I need to check if, which type of walls we're using and have we mass produced steel walls at a good spot, at a good rate. I do need to add regular walls to the rail network. That's not real. That's, that is real. Uh, we can let that run into the wall, that's fine. Okay. Um, I do need to add a rail block. Well, maybe not an entire block to make walls, but as a prerequisite for uh, military science, perhaps. Dodgy, dodgy. There we go. I'm check things, checks around me on their own. Yes. Are we going to take actual damage if I leave that on autopilot? Maybe. Probably. Alright, let's stop there for a moment. Are we going to have a full trunk just from that? They don't all need to carry artillery turrets. Should probably limit... I don't know even how much they should carry of each thing. Uh, let's just get something functional so we can get started. That'll do for now. Alright, change this back to yellow. Copy, paste, 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 paste. That's right, I was going to make more construction spiders. That would help a lot. But I need to physically go over there to do that. Let's get our military... Sp Whoa, where are they? I completely forgot they were here. Yikes. How many rockets do they have left? Quite a lot. They're doing okay. But they've got a long way to get over there. Alright, let's send them back for resupply. Which means... Clearing out these little expansions is up to me, I guess. I've literally got like a hundred, okay, maybe not a hundred, but uh, there's like at least a chest and a half of spiders that I could be setting up by now. Um, the bottleneck, by the time I notice I have all the spiders though, is how many RTGs and shields and stuff I have ready. But yeah, I definitely could have made another squad or two by now. Yeah, I think we'll build a wall here. For starters. There we 
we go. Hopefully that's the last. That is not the last of those little expansions. Um, have our spiders all supplied? This one seems to be over full. Or is that... Let's move them a little bit. That's a chest. Okay, cool. Uh, do the construction spiders have missiles? I think they should. Yeah, they don't. Let's fix that. Where do the missiles go? Right next to the... Uh... Right next to the artillery. What? 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 How? Why did I not hear anything before that happened? What? How's it? Where? Where? I. I've heard sound as soon as we run into the biters previously. What the? Should, should I lo- How long ago was this? Nope. No. 395.30. As opposed to... I think that was literally a minute ago. In the interest of not just going back to base and rebuilding things and waiting for the nope. bots and stuff. Let's just save a little time here. Oh my goodness. Why was the first thing I heard, you are dead? Okay, so this base is nowhere near as threatening. I'm gonna target the spider here, go over here, and... and then... Bucket. I'm keeping an eye on the bottom of the screen looking for... Um, the shield bar to change. It doesn't seem to be doing that. This is Navsat. Okay, I think if we're in Navsat, we don't sense anything. But... I think if it was regular map, I do hear things. I hear the legs. I hear nothing here. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything. Sneaky. Famous last words, this base doesn't look too threatening. Ah, oh, this base is for testing purposes. It's fine. Totally fine. Yeah, the fact that you can hear the spider legs right here led me to have the expectation that if I was attacked, I would hear something. Right, that was a bit much. Whoops. Wrong hotkey. Uh, where are my repair packs? There we go. That didn't take long. It's for testing. It's going to be fine. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, um, what was I doing here? I've set you to have a request. Wait, do you have the military requests? Okay, good. And you, good. 
rocket exactly 800. And was it this one? Yes. Okay, I have no intention of having the construction spiders fight biters. Um, but if they run into them, that'll help. Now, let's get them to... Well, actually, while we're at it, uh, so many more bases here than I thought. Where are our military spiders? Almost resupplied. Fantastic. Anything here? Not really. Okay. Um, I want to make more construction spiders so they have more... Well, they'll not only build faster, they'll have more capacity to carry things. Uh, these guys are already resupplied by the look of it. Very nice. After I clear this base, I'll have them do a zigzag pattern to make sure there aren't any more. Or I could just use the nav set. Oh, that's a bit harsh. I need to change direction a bit more often. There we go. Right. I need to personally go over here to make more spiders. Uh, military spiders, go do your thing. That's a bit harsh. And... Let's just have them... cover as much ground as they reasonably can. Make sure there aren't more expansions over here. It's really just this area that we need to make sure is clear in the short term while we build this wall. And we just have to guard the backs of um, the construction spiders and the wall while those... Are, that's too far. That's fine. Okay. Meanwhile, on planet runes, uh, please go build this over here. Apparently you haven't run out of solar panels yet. And let's get these guys to... to do what? Damn. That is quite effective. I'll check on them after they've gone here. Still got a couple of meters to go to get back to the main base. Where's our spider stash? Here it is. Should probably... Oh, I already did. Why did we stop at 32k yellow signs? Blue circuits, that's why. And we're still bottlenecked on copper. Was there a copper mine in this direction? That one doesn't really count. There was a chunker somewhere. I don't remember if it was up this way. Oh, that's right, up here. 9.3 million. 
It is a bit of a long train trip, but if we set the train limit to like three or four, that'll be fine. Okay, let's get, I think we've got eight construction spiders, let's make it 20. Copy, paste, and paste, and we're missing personal robot ports already. Um, because we're putting in eight for every spider. Also, that is making a lot of bot requests all at the same time. Maybe we shouldn't make too many simultaneously. How do I have... Oh, I have no jetpack. There we go. Actually... Missing seven personal roboports. I've got them here. Oh, no, I don't. Let's go get some. And whatever ludicrous limit I put on personal roboports previously, it was not enough. Uh, okay, that... That needs an upgrade. Still, it's going to be a while. Let's just take the spiders that we've got already. I'm tempted to copy-paste the spider settings that we can across uh, the rest of these spiders, but... That's going to make 600 gajillion bot jobs simultaneously. So let's maybe not do that. We're going to need to get you to follow you to follow you to follow you and to follow you. It's not that many more spiders, but it'll help. Let's send them in... I was going to say I'll send them to pick up more rockets first, but... Well, no, I really should. Get them to pick up some rockets first. Just in case. And back to it. It's been a while since I busted out the old wall designs. I was quite happy with this iteration of it as well. I even made some smaller versions of it that we can upgrade to, uh, up upgrade from rather, in order to get the wall built in the first place. Autosave did a real good job there. It definitely did. Uh, Anton Ergo, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. PC Duck, does the game feel repetitive at this point? Uh, not really. It's... Where you're up to in a playthrough is constantly changing, and also I'm playing through space exploration for the first time, which is much more complicated and varied than vanilla. Products finished zero. Oh, I didn't copy the... wait, yes I did. We just haven't had copper delivered here yet.
Kind of wishing there was a copper core fragment, to be honest, at this stage. Okay, that is taking longer than I expected it to. Uh, let's just use the nav set to look around for some biter expansions. And they are distressingly easy to find. I know I've cleared this general area-ish. Okay. Let's get you guys over here. And here. And so on. Or I guess since I'm here I could clear out this one. Although I have not really equipped enough lasers. There we go. This was a bit more of a mistake than I thought. Actually, what I should do is jump up. I totally forgot you had rockets. Auto-targeting without gunner. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, calm down, calm down. It's alright. What My plan there was to just jump out of the spider to get the lasers in range. But it turned out to be a little bit unnecessary. Rampant death world settings with uh, space exploration might be interesting. Although you'd really have to make sure there's more than enough resources. I'm playing with rampant, not death world though. Fair enough. Wait, what is. The, the definition of death world got all blurred. Uh, it used to just mean, like, lots and lots of scary biters. But then they added something to the vanilla game that's kind of... not what I would call a death world. I think it includes, like, more expensive recipes. Which is not a type of challenge I find interesting myself. Death world is a scenario. Yeah. I always use the rail world preset, absolutely. Also, uh, Azzy he, Izzy, he? thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's get our military spiders to do their thing again. That'll probably be enough. And where's our construction spiders? Oh, that's right. I had them pick up some rockets. Uh, and then come up here, apparently. I must have misclicked something. Okay, a bunch of them have 800 rockets, so it's probably fine. Real world is just fewer but bigger resources, yes. Um, speaking of repetitive, if there's one thing that I don't want to have to do more often than absolutely necessary, it's build another mine. Absolutely. Railworld is my favorite too, but expanding biters is some um, added challenge, not bad from time to time. 
Only time I don't use biters is Hyanodons. I've heard of that. I think I'll just head straight to where we might build our wall. Um, I don't really even want to lay the blueprint out while the biters are there. But this seems like... Actually, I should probably lay out the version 3 for starters. That's actually a really good fit. Okay. So this is going to go here. And that terrain only helps us. Nice. That's a really good fit. Hello. Sorry, sorry, I almost missed you. Anyone remember what the Biter AI mod that was before Rampant was called? Do you mean Misanthro? Because that was super effective. Although I do remember, um... I think it was Disnoff, uh, playing with that mod and unfortunately... At the time, uh, you ended up getting huge, huge groups of biters milling around and not attacking. Like, basically it was, I think it was like maybe trying to prepare a wave that was too big and never got, like, never got ready to attack or something. Um, it's just one guess. Oh, I need to be a bit more careful in this. Actually, we're fine. Misanthrope. Yeah, Misanthrope was really good, though. Um, and here comes our cloud of construction. Hopefully we haven't missed anything that we need to build this stuff. We'll build the most basic version first and then flesh it out a bit more. Also, I should not have a Robopot at the moment. I think I just abandoned a few of my bots, but they'll sort themselves out. Alright, construction spiders, do your thing up here. And I will continue clearing out the small bases, not to be used with the mod that makes tree spawn upon biter death. That's an odd choice. Okay, I don't think we need to destroy cliff in order to make wall. Don't think we need this part. What's this? Just a tree. Uh, but yeah, that is looking like a really good fit. Alright, I'll let the military spiders take care of these. And... Make sure they find any biters over this way. Oh, there's a little tiny baby expansion over here too. Let's continue building this. Should probably put some radar over there as well. Doesn't really probe your defenses like the old one did. Yeah, that was what was really good about Misanthrope. I think it used a heat map to accomplish that. Where recent or relatively recent biter deaths added more heat to an area and they would avoid it. Or somewhat avoid it. 
They would prefer to avoid the spots where a million biters died. And there was also the thing where if something got destroyed, that would attract the biter there. Interesting. And they would actually attack things uh, that vanilla biters will completely ignore as well. So they would go for the weak parts, yes. How is our power doing here? Looks okay, considering we started building this at like the start of the night, I think. Didn't bring enough robo-ports, apparently. Um, I think it's about time I turn my robo-ports back on. I'll keep s just a couple of lasers in here, just in case. And power. Right, that's done. Oh, I should probably start a chain of radars as well. Start... wait. I need to double check where the bigger blueprint is going to go. Like this. So we can definitely put... wait, what? Uh... doesn't oh it's like this okay cool so we can definitely put a radar down that bottom corner there and then should be able to find a spot between these every time uh actually it's going to be more specific than that but that's okay Right. Construction spiders have almost finished their job, actually. It's a relatively short wall that we're building. Uh, next, we have to block off this particular access. And probably the biters that come from here, if there are any, it's going to take a while. Actually, no, we saw bases here, didn't we? Yeah. Probably the biters that come from here, though, are going to attack this wall for now because of the pollution sources. Do I really not have the construction spiders requesting roboports? Um, where do roboports fit in this thing? Bots. They are indeed not requesting roboports. Um, do they all have room? I think so. Okay, let's correct that, shall we? One stack of roboports. And if they each do it, it's going to be overkill, but I'm okay with that. Right, that should be fine. Um, where is our next radar going to fit? Right about here. Or a bit closer. This one. Should I send the construction spiders back for more, or should we get this done first? I think we should get this one done. Make sure there's nothing up ahead of us. I'm 
not expecting much in the way of attacks this way yet because there's no pollution cloud over here. I could be wrong though. I think they'll I think all these ones will all go down this way and path around like this. I've seen them do it before. Where does our next radar fit into all of this? Pretty close to the top. That's actually perfect. Alright, that should be the basic wall finished. Got effectively just a few laser turrets defending this whole thing for now. Didn't I don't recall telling the construction spiders to stop there, but I guess that's what happened. I took that as a victory. Uh, Dev Tim Tonic, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There was also the weak parts. I remember in the Death World I had to use a mod that let me get basically infinite resources to keep up with the assaults. Yes. Or rather, at the very least, uh, make the richness of the ore veins and so on extreme. How's our power be- oh no. Uh, this, just as well I set it up so that, let's set this to one stack. Oh, there's no whitelist for it? Yeah, there is. Just as well I set it up so that this doesn't turn on until we flick the switch. I don't know why this isn't built yet. There should be nuclear reactors in the main bus base. There are, which means they should be available to short trains. Uh, I guess they're trying to pick up other things instead. Hmm. All right, so the question here is where do we put the wall? I would really love to put it ahead of this giant oil field. And it's not that much wider, um, the area that we have to cover to do that. So let's start with... this, maybe? Can we actually take advantage of these cliffs at all? Not really. These cliffs, on the other hand... Yeah. Uh... Let's shape it so that the last version of the wall isn't going to impose on these cliffs. Put it maybe here. And... I'll just use that as a marker. I think this is right. That goes there. And this goes... Why does that all go red if I bring it down one tile? Oh, I see. Yeah, no, that's good. That's very good. Alright, so version 1, or rather tier 1 of the wall. Can go here. That's actually a really good fit on the edge as well. Uh, military spiders, do your thing. Let's 
construction spiders, do your thing. And me do my thing also. I don't know how many more robopods I'm carrying. Probably like two. Zero, actually. Factorio, my only game. I used to have a family, now I have a factory. <laughs> oh no. Uh... That's a lot of biters, actually. A lot, a lot of biters. But we're well outside the pollution cloud. And we have like two armies of spiders with rockets. Now where do I want the radar to be squeezed in? having trouble lining this up. There we go. Right here. Why do I see no substation here? Oh, I do. Never mind. A derp. Spiders, keep doing your things. Radar goes about here, and then over this way. Should probably get rid of that little spider base there. And then after that, I think we need to be looking behind us. Oh. Like that one. In fact, that's a higher priority. Okay, where are we? Radar. Uh, we only need one more, actually. Let's put it here. All the way on the edge. Fantastic. In 61 hours, I launched my first rocket. Nice. Spider, go here. And I think we're about ready to run back for resupply. Beldak, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. And enjoy it, uh, Tim Tonics. Thank you. What I might do in this instance is... Uh, we can always purge the crude oil later. I want to set up the flame turrets um, as quickly as possible. I'll set up a light oil drop-off later. If I recall correctly, light oil is still the best um, oil to use for flamethrower turrets. Uh, which we didn't do back here. Nothing to see here. Um, but I do want to get at least a little something into the flamethrower turrets before we go. Oh, we're running a bit late, actually. Uh, yeah, I think it's about time to find a, find a stream to raid for today. All right, let's do a save real quick as my UPS drops to nothing because I opened my browser. Friends, hi, can I ask you all a question, please? 
I'm using loaders to supply my own plate on top of plate belts. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Nafka. All right. Who we got streaming today? A couple of these are not in English. Did we raid Seek Death already? Currently, I'm running one of those belts to supply my main bus. The question is, when exactly should I make uh, make two second belt? Do you mean like have more than one belt or upgrade the belt? My recommendation would be to try to overestimate how much throughput you're going to need. Um, because if you overdo it, it's going to be fine, except it's a bit more work to build it in the first place. Uh, if you end up realizing later that you wish you had more space for more belt, uh, you're not really going to be able to do that, except if you like start a new base or completely rework that one. All right, let's drop by uh, Seek Death today. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the blueprints or the Discord if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. And uh, see you next time. Take care, Whiskers. 60 seconds to make one.